All right, you asked for it, Let's man. Go. Here it goes, man. The extender. We put another clip in the bra, bra, bra. Hey, <laughs> in the bra, bra, in the bra, bra, bra. Hey, my guy. You're getting excited. We need oh. you to stay focused. Oh, no, you know. No, no, no. I'm not saying. I'm just you're like, wait, wait, wait. We need you to be like, right Hey, nah. One thing I really want to tell you, dog, like straight what up. What do we have today? We have Tomas, a.k.a. Yeah, Mad One, M-A-D-O-N-E, going, going psycho. psycho. Hey, Skyline Records, man. Talk to me about it. Whoa. Yeah, let's let's nah, jump right into nah, like actually um Skyline Records um 1997 Filtered Souls Filtered Souls um just finished uh working on the second EP I had in the streets uh selling tapes um tapes yeah cassette tapes CDs weren't out yet CDs weren't out brother where were you pressing no, no, your no, tapes no, at barely, no my first CD my first tape um the Solados tape 1996 nah there was no CD I didn't have the budget so hold on let's, let's go back in time though what happens to before 1996. Yeah. Oh, 1987, 86? Yeah. I, I, I did a, a tape called um, um, Youngest Out of Cali. Youngest That's Busy T. Uh, Busy T. What uh, were you M recording MC that? Busy T. I was recording with a, a homie of mine named Ken Hart. His dad was a, a Cuban, uh, he was in a Cuban band. And um, he was from, uh, he was straight from, from the island. So he had culture of the culture and the whole get down. But he had a four track, a task cam. The old, big the old big box that you would stand up on the side and it had the bouncing track. So his dad would teach us how to... Um, how to uh, record? Record and how to bounce tracks, like bounce, you know, once, you know, uh, you would get the vocals and bounce them down to one track and so you could make room for the other stuff. Dang. So, so... Um, it was a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a lot so, of work. Um, <laughs> so uh, I, I did that. I did that the first time I did that because I was in the cypher. I was trying to get all kinds of cyphers uh, in East San Diego, everywhere, man. But back then... It, what, it, what MCs were around during that time doing the um, cyphers? Shit, Big June was out then. It was like uh, a, like um, a, what is a homie from Shelton? Bull, Bulldog? Bulldog was, had passed away already. Oh. When I first saw Bulldog, when I, was, I was a kid, I was, when I was trying to get on the mic at house parties. Um, and Bulldog... Uh, when he passed, after he passed, that was right, um, probably like 80, maybe 87, maybe, something like that. Was he one of the first Mexicanos oh, one rapping of first, out here? One of the first Mexicanos I ever seen rapping. Was, was Night Owl already out? Night Owl. Because um, they came around the same era, I think era, he was right? doing like, he came after, I think he came around the same time, but I think, maybe, maybe I might be wrong, but I think Bulldog was probably first. Rest in peace, both those but, guys. But esos también los dos juntos, they would do shit. Oh, for real. What I'm saying is, within... The, the cypher, yeah. The, what, what I mean is the whoever's recording the shit, whoever was a DJ back then, you know, you would find the break beats, break the, you know, you would find a little space, or or if you were um, um, uh, within the the um the pool, it wasn't pools then, it was if you just had the plug, you would have the plates with the break beats broken all down, you know, from the East Coast, you know, they only made them in the East Coast. So yeah. I don't know if anybody was making them, maybe Break Beat Lou or someone like that. Yeah, Break Beat Lou it was making it in the West Coast, I think. Dang. And wow. So so fools were getting that. And we would get uh get that and or find a good piece on on, on an old school record and and they had the turn they had the uh, the faders with the um three minute sampler with the button pow, or three second sampler so we would catch it up you know you know whatever four bars on that clean it up run, and just try to catch it on time let it run and loop and the homie would just wow over the top on two records wow wow I'm gonna keep that shit just going passing the mic that's the kind of thing that wow boo dog that's, that's crazy a lot of work. Dog. as a dj as i'm a, a dj, DJ yeah. that sounds so, like a so, lot of work so <laughs> when food, yeah so when you were just telling fools yeah that's why when dj you say you can come on and get on the mic homie they would look at you like bro you know if you're gonna get on the mic what you're gonna do like it wasn't like you know i'm not gonna do all you know see, plus yeah. it's, it, dj was a very important element bro but huge they're not downplayed like they are now like they, they're down back then they were like they were the producers yeah. Back then, they were, yeah. they were the producers. They, they were, produced they, the, the sound. Music, the music program. Yeah, program. yeah, yeah. And, yeah, the programmers. I think that uh, that's... So it was the same thing as just in real time as him catching, uh, say, you're on an ASR and you fucking catch a, 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 a sample and you chop it up and, you know, yeah. lay, lay, lay yeah. it out, blah, 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 yeah. or whatever, you're using the sample. Same thing, but in real time, they were yeah. just marking the records with tape, you know, yeah. exactly where it's at, mm -hmm. going right back to it. Yeah. Sometimes they wouldn't even hit the thing, just back and forth. Yeah. So I went from that to um, I ended up in... Uh, I ended up in um, uh, visiting my brother in San Jose, and we got into some fam some family stuff happened. Right. And, um, I mean, my brother had you know basically something happened. I had to protect myself. Something happened, and I ended yeah. up in uh, since my mom was down here and I was just visiting, I had to stay up there in a group home, like in in San Jose. Mm -hmm. So um, before that happened, a week prior to a week and a half prior to that, my brother would have to work at a car wash. So he would he gave me he bought me he took me to the warehouse back then or was i don't know if it was warehouse whatever it was up there and he got like me, a music store and he got me the ll tape right i wanted the beast i'm back tape. yeah 
boys. So, uh, I'm Beastie Boys, you License out. to Ill? Uh, I'll knock you out? Yeah. But, but, license to Ill yeah, and, and, yeah, and yeah, I'm Bad? bad. <sighs> so I had those two. And I, so every time he was at, I think I would study, especially LL's uh, patterns and LL's. Uh, patterns. Cadences. You know, you, cadence, yeah. you know, pattern. Well, it's a, it's a, you know, I see it as a pattern. Mm-hmm. I see it. I see it as a frequency, like a. You know, as a pattern. So when I see him and I was just seeing how he would tie him in and how he would lead to what he's saying into the hook and how that one would go and kind of, you know, keep pick up where the first verse left off to the second one. So it's still on cue. Kind of shit. You know, it's just studying everybody. Mm-hmm. So I ended up in this group home and I have nothing. And all I did was have the LL songs in my head because I listened to this shit. Like <laughs> going back to cat. Well, everything, bro. Not before that. Oh, yeah. But I, I, I feel... <laughs> About candy, all that shit, bro. All that shit. Damn. Um, Jack, the, all that shit. I was just listening and listening to Beastie Boys. License to Ill. I memorized that shit to my back, front to back. Yeah. So that's what kind of like when we were up there, my brother, he came to San Diego prior to me coming home. Mm-hmm. So I had to stay a week by myself. So I was, I was a kid, bro. I was fucking only like 12, 11 years old, 12 years old or some shit like that. So I was kind of another place. Felt like I was in fucking outer space somewhere, you know what I mean? Far away from my family. So I was like, the only thing that got me through was music. Was, Saying those words to to his songs and shit, right? So I'm like, "Fuck!" I'm trying to get through the day. So I finally get through that, get home. My mom moved to East San Diego. I didn't even know nobody there. My brother ended up. Um, I didn't know nobody in East San Diego. So my brother, you know, did a little run in the neighborhood and said, hey, "These people are good. These people are bad. You hang with these cats." Blah blah blah. Okay, boom. And that's when I met my my compadre, and he was a beatboxer. You know. It, it, uh, Breaking era had just ended, so people were still wearing the kind of fat laces, Pumas, the Sacconis, the yep. Sergio Tachini. Hey, the fat laces, is that, a, is that a San Diego thing? No, I, no, I, saw, I think I, it was a West Coast West, thing, for I think sure. It was a West Coast, because I used to see them with Tribal. Tribal used to sell the big, so, thick so, stickers. I think they, came from, the, stickers, I, I think uh, they first laces. came from the Breaking Days yeah. in the East Coast. Oh, really? Yeah, because they would bang them. I think, I'm, but I'm not, because yeah. I remember seeing Crazy Legs, you know, the dude, with the, and he yeah. used to have the fat laces and then the popping and shit. Fools used to kick off their shoes and stuff like that, and um, and I remember seeing the fat laces. Um, well, um, long story short, uh, short, I came back and um, my compadre used to beatbox, and he had all these fucking tapes, and he would go to the warehouse, and back then you would get them, dub them, and you could take them back, <laughs> and, and you could literally take the them back. Out. The only ones we would keep is the the singles because it had instrumentals in the back, yeah. right? So in the beat, or they had that B side song that was fucking doper than the fucking single. Uh, so that was a whole thing. Like if you had your B side, like yeah, yeah. that was like it was a unique record that wasn't necessarily going to be on your album, but like yeah. that was like a unique piece, you yeah. know. So so I'm, I'm trying to go faster, bro, because I'm bougie. Nah, you're you're uh, straight. Uh, okay, so um, so I, I get I get back and he starts, you know, we have a session and I meet him, blah blah, blah and then he starts beatboxing, so I start busting. I'm just busting shit, right? And he goes, "Oh man, what you heard this too short?" And I go, "Yeah, I kind of heard of him, but I heard that was back when too short was with 75 girls." Mm-hmm. Invasion of the flat booty bitches and shit like crazy <laughs> stuff. It, it was like it's it sounded like grow records or something like yeah, that. Yeah, old, yeah. old old shit, right? Right. And so so um so uh, he goes, Hey man, I study this shit the next thing I hey, was you know this who man, I'll memorize that shit, memorize it real quick. But how did you do that? You should bust. Next thing you know, he starts beatboxing and hitting the feds, bye bye, and I start busting. And the next thing you know, he's like, Bro, you need to record. He goes, I go, oh, where am I gonna record? Well, no mics, right? Get the mic. He goes, he gets a box, bro. He gets a box. He gets these tapes, and he starts fucking going fast forward, rewind, fast forward, rewind, and catching it on beat. And he made a whole minute and a half beat out of a break beat, out of the end of a song, uh, uh, end of a special ed. No, I think it was special ed or somebody. Song at the end and just looped it like on a tape. Wow, like, dude. Like dirty, fool. So we did that. And wow. that dirty. Point, <laughs> dirty like, no, that's the best you can do, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah. passing them around, doing that. I was all proud. Next thing you know, I'm fucking find someone with the four track. And that's when I meet the dude that I mentioned, Ken Harnett. Wow, Miami. that's dope. And that's when... um uh, Your first album. That's when I did my first one and I started um, selling those in the street by myself. Like, Did you put yourself on the album cover? I was young as out of Cali. I, I remember I even had a... Because you know, I didn't know. Hip hop was like MCM, right? So I would have a little... <laughs> someone had a little MCM bag. Give me that shit, bro. Like, 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 no, no, for real. Nah. And it wasn't like, oh, this fool's trying to act black. Not to be like that and, or, or even participate in a conversation like that about race and shit. Yeah, no, nah, nah. but But that's what people do and that's what, you know, they, they, they box. It was like, hip hop. It was hip hop, yeah. But people don't understand, you know, if they, if they don't understand, they don't understand. Whatever, I don't give right. a fuck anyways. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> but, 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 um, but, uh, so we did that, and, and Ken's dad took the picture, and I so I got all these tapes, and my boy Alfred's brother had a fucking, his brother used to be on one, so we used to have fucking, 
uh, he had a bunch of tapes that were just like 15 minutes long, seven, seven minutes on each side. Yeah. And they were all, and I said, man, give me that shit. And I tore all the <sighs> labels off it, cleaned it all off. With alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Bro, I used to do bro, that too. I got a stamper. Really? I got a stamper and I put MC Busy T, like taped them all, uh, did that shit. I recorded all the things, got a Xerox thing, right? Yeah. Took the picture, cut it, wrote the shit in, like in graffiti myself, flattened it out to the specs of a, of a regular tape, matched uh-huh. it up, put the creases in it. Did a bunch of copies, cut them, did all that shit, bro. Broke all the fucking, find every tape I could find. You know how many rappers in today's era we would not have if, if they, they had, had to, to do, do that? that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's the kind of shit. Bro. If your so, name starts with little, you probably wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. probably wouldn't do it. So, 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 so here I am slanging these tapes, bro. And and, and, I, and my target was the the black brothers from because I know they were more into. I played football and all that. So so in, in the hood, you know, in, in East San Diego and Southeast, you know. It's, it's all mixed, you know. Yeah. We, we don't see color. We just everything in the just so, in the same area, same, same yeah. shit. So, so, um, but they were the co-signers. So I know, you know, you know, a brother fucking kill you real quick, you know, like yeah, me, yeah. Shit, get that shit out of here, right? The fools were like passing it around, like give me that shit, bro. I want to yeah. hear that shit next. And if you had the hot tapes, you had the hot tapes. And, yeah, bro. And then next thing you know, it spread a little bit. Next thing it was people were from an uh, ocean side, like you know, yeah. Like, hey, bro. And I was tripping out. Oceanside was far to me. And I was like, yeah. Oceanside. So it, that, that happened. Started doing tapes. And then I ran into, uh, went to the Marine Corps. Once, once I went to the Marine Corps. Um, was your second tape already out by the time you went to the Marine Corps? Yeah, I was already. I already, I already went to the Marine Corps. Uh, that's, that's Bro, let's happened. get into the second album. So okay. what, what, what's your second album? Um, the, the second one I did was, um, what was the second one? Were you signed now? Does this no, where no, Skyline no, comes into play? No, 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 no. We're still no, going down the line. Yeah, we're still going down the line. This is, yeah, it's down the line. And I went to the Marine Corps. So that was this is I was still in so school. So album one, one album one is out. You're going to the Marine Corps. And I'm, and I'm a kid. Out. I'm on 14 years old. Yeah, and I'm a, but, the EP's yeah. not out. Not a real one. Like you know, figure it out. Busy T was 14. 14. Then you went to the Marine Corps at what age? Uh, 17. Damn. How was that experience? Oh, that, and then we're gonna come to the music real oh, quick. Oh well, that experience was. Um, were you there for like a while? To, I don't like. I, I don't like talk about it too much because. Um, okay, perfect. I, Let's no, go. No, album no, number two. No, 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 no. Because I acquired. Um, and it goes back to what we said. You know. I put it like this: um, World War Two, the most uh, Purple Hearts given, yeah, were to Mexicans, bro, um, and Latins, right? Yeah, World, 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 War II. World War Two. Okay, wow. um, it, but you're not, and it goes to where um, Bethel situation. Yeah, you know, you're good enough to fight and do the work and do everything, but you're not good enough to be equal. You know, mm-hmm. um, when it's you go deep. there, you yeah, you 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 acquire things and you see things in the same way. It's the same concept. But very transparent, though. Yeah. It's their world, their law. They tell you what it is. They tell you what is going down. And then you think you're going to go beyond that? Good luck, bro, because you're in their world. And yeah. At that time when I was there. So um, that's the reason I say that. And I, plus, I acquired other issues. Yeah. You know, uh, other issues. Yeah. That, you know, that I still deal with. Yeah. The very day that I kind of rap yeah. to you about. Yeah. Um, so... So I you got, went there with intentions, but oh, then you recognized it wasn't for you, no, so you no, dipped shit out. No, shit. Okay. no, 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 it wasn't like that. Okay, it wasn't like that. <laughs> okay. I wish it was like that. I wasn't like that. All right, it wasn't right. like that, bro. Um, but um, but uh, I got out. I came out, you know, in the middle, just thrown out to the to, from the military into the streets. And what do you do? You know, do you what do you do? Uh, prior to deep decompressing and um, desensitizing yourself from being in a military situation. To picking up where you left off with your life, yeah, who you are, yeah, because you know the military will desensitize you and, mm-hmm. and will change you and, and and you know and refine you into something what they need. So yeah. how many years later you go back to the uh, street? So I go back to the street, say como a los 20 años. So you joined the Marines at 18? 18, 18, eight, 17 so, and a half. So, right? you two, so three I said, years. yeah. So when the, when I got back to the streets, I started just picking up whatever work I could. Um, I was having my my daughters, the first daughters. I was you know young as fuck. We we already in the nineties here. Yeah, 90s. Okay. It's barely 90s. 90s. 94, 95, 94, 94, yeah, 94, 95. Um, so I uh, start doing music again. I just start picking up instrumentals and writing and writing and writing and writing. I always wrote. Even At this time, who are you working with? Um, nobody. Until I ran into a high school friend of mine, and um, they showed me some shit, and it was banging. And I was like, it was their style. It was different kind of. Was it still hip-hop. four tracks during this time? It was still four tracks. Um, still four tracks a little bit. Um, what they showed me, they did on a four track. And I said, who did that? And they showed me, and they go, oh, man, there's this cat's name, Elo, Shiesty. And I go, who the fuck is that? Wow. And they go, you, want, you still get down? I go, yeah, I get down. I go, where are they at? And they go, oh, they're right here on College Avenue. And they were with this dude named, um, what's 
the hell? Tiny. I mean, Valentine something. Not Tiny Do, not Tiny Do, right? No, not, no. Tiny, not Tiny Do from Lincoln Park. No, no, no. It was... Um, it was named Tiny. He was from the East Coast or Miami. He used to do Miami music like uh, freestyle. Bass, he used like to do freestyle? shit for uh, Stevie B, stuff like that. Freestyle. freestyle. So he did, but he has credits and he has, you know. Wait, what's his name, Tiny? Tiny, oh, but okay. his name is Valentine something, man. Valentine something. Steel Door? Steel Door. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So I, I went there and I was like, hey, you know, what's up? They said, talk to them, got to meet them. And um, I met Tiny first and we started talking. What are you trying to do? And he was just trying to treat me like trying to get money. Of course, you know, you know track where you want. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I don't give a shit. I'm just trying to get my shit done away from a step further. Because yeah, right. I heard he had a real to real. So I'm like, what's a real to real? I go, I go, and he showed me what he had. And I go, oh, I want to make my shit here. I don't give a fuck what he gives me. I'm just going to do it and adjust my shit and fit my shit to him. And then take that and just expand from there. Yeah. Right. Um, and then Black Mikey was working in there. And that's yeah. when I heard what they were doing for Black Mikey. And I started peeping. I was like, hmm. Who's doing it? Who's really doing it? And like, oh, this dude's doing the keys. Oh, this dude's doing the banging. Oh, this dude just does this part. Okay, that's cool. But the dude, the dude, dude that got the funk and the sauce is this dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was peeping all that without saying, you know, too much names. I don't want to disrespect people. Yeah, yeah, no, I got you. Like I got you. <laughs> no, because then like, people could take stuff out of uh, context. Not that I give a fuck, but I'm like I said, I'm I trying got to you. be more yeah, decent yeah, person. Yeah, 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 I got you, you know, got you. I'm just trying to say, um, telling us in that fashion. So, um. Once I found that, um, they did one song and I did a song called "Get Down," and um, and I and Tiny did it most of it, and then Elo paid part of like the keys because he heard it what was going on, so he just jumped in. Yeah. And next thing you know, uh, Shiesty just did some little shit to it, not much, but right. he was interested though. Yeah. You know what I mean, so yeah. I, I figured, okay, these are the fucking chemists here. These yeah, are yeah. Lab. I mean, I mean, with the scientists. You yeah, know, yeah, That's yeah. how I look at this shit. You know. It's, it's hip hop and shit. Yeah, you know. So okay, let me bring my cloth in and see what they got. You know, so they came up with this shit and they hit it on the money. I'm like, okay, it's not too West Coast, but it's like hip hop and it's still boom back yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah, underneath. Yeah. So I was like, okay, it, it's crossing over. That's good. So we did that. We did a, a tape called Solala's tape, and that's when I started selling in the streets a shitload of tapes. Mm -hmm. Shitload. I went to Wingspan. Wingspan. Uh, pressed up fucking 500 of those bitches real quick. I said, boom. Hit them, hit the fucking, from here to L.A., just yeah. jumping out of cars like maniacs. Like, get two or three of my people or my brothers and, or or a good friend of mine or best friend, and boom, jump out. Cruising oh, on Highland people, for sure. Yeah, oh, Highland was a mando, bro. That was, <laughs> my friends used to say, give me some tapes, bro. I used yeah. to say, oh, give me, give me, just give me three bucks back, bro. Whatever I paid, a dollar more, just to, 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 to recoup, not to live, but recoup. And the, the expense, and then at the same time, don't try to double it or half it so I can make Put half more product and a half of what I started with, just keep yeah. building and stacking yep. it. So I did that, and now my boys were taking to go to Highland and lie and be do all that. And for those that don't know, <laughs> Highland is our, our cru was our cruising strip. Oh, yeah, yeah for Natural sure. City. For Man, sure. Natural City has a big play in San Diego music. Oh, like wait, you said Wingspan, Wingspan was from Natural City. Like every wing, single Well, you guys tape. said Wingspan, I thought it was like Wings and Things. What is Wingspan? Wingspan is a place that was a duplicator that would duplicate the tape. So everybody that was in hip hop back in the 90s, that were independent, they would go get their tapes made at Wingspan here in San Diego, here in Sa here in SD. Wow, yeah, and like, man, so many, so many tapes that were like um, from the Gangster Earns to Domas oh, yeah. to man, everybody, 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 everybody. Dog. everybody. That, everybody. everybody. Yeah. That was like and that was, was only hip hop, or it was like jazz. Yeah, they did, they did other, they did other genres, yeah. but all the independent San Diego hip hop artists yeah. in the nineties. Went to Wingspan. Yeah, correct. and then and then where were these uh, tapes being distributed? If it wasn't for the streets, like was okay. it where they at? I Fan tried, bar? I would try to go. I would try to, meets? That's where I could try to go. China man in the fan bar. China man. Not to be, <laughs> I'm not being disrespectful because in this era, is, is China, China man. Now, for, for those folks that always ask, is is China man the same China man that was also in downtown with the shoes? With the shoes? No, no, Completely no, different China no. Man. Yeah, but the China man downtown with the shoes was the plug oh, too. Uh, but he was the same China. Crazy, we're calling him China man, huh? Right? This era, like China man, China man. It's like saying Mexican, Mexican man, yeah, Mexican yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. It, it is. That's what he was. Because everybody he called, he would say, "Hey, it's me, you know me, whatever." You, everybody called him that. Yeah, that was yeah. who he was. That was his placaso. That was his placaso, <laughs> dude. Yeah, that's, that's, that's and he was. He accepted it. He and he and he, he adopted it. it. Yeah. And it was dope the way that he he had like a couple of tape stores in Fan Bam. Yeah, but he in was, Fan was, Mart. He was, what, what, was he uh, ho was he related to uh, Steve Yano, the other Chinese homie? That's what part? I was thinking. Uh, uh, in the swap was, meet was, in L.A. Did we ask DJ Jam that? We should have asked DJ Jam that. Or or freaking um. He got the, the the prototype concept from him. Like, oh, he must have got word like, hey, this music is moving hot in the yeah, swap meets. Yeah, Whatever indoor swap meet. Because, yeah. you know, they get the tapes. Because then you would see everybody. Same thing. Yeah, tapes yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. So, you know, 
I did the first one there. It was hard to get in there at first. I was stand outside of Fan Bama's, <laughs> right? And then after a while, the guy go, hey, man, just bring me. Just in bring him in. Coast, <laughs> man, okay, man. I'm like, no, three bucks, whatever. So I was like, hey, five bucks, three. No, only three. You know, argue, whatever it was, and just take it. And at first, you better take it, homie. But then, I would, you know, if it was moving or if people were just not knowing it's there because they would put everything underneath. The way yeah, they on laid the bottom, out, yeah. You send homies in there. Go buy them real quick, bro. Go go off ten of you motherfuckers in a row though. Spread it out or five homies <laughs> within an hour. Five of you guys go. You know what I mean? Just walk up. Hey man, you got the so and so. Where is that shit, man? What? Oh hell yeah! And then boom. And then the first and then next thing you know, go. That's how it was like that for me in radio. And then like people, their homies would call like yeah, every and, five and minutes. And next thing you know, go in there and now he's half consigned, half paid. Right and now he's now he's telling me and I'm like oh okay I, it's working now now I'm past it's the, work I'm, I'm past I'm past the program the, the, direct, the program yeah. director's yeah. down with me the now. Right, right, right. Yeah. music director's cool with me now and shit yeah. you know, whatever yeah right so comes the second one do the first one first one doing this all these matches all these things I was like man uh, my I'm I'm maybe I'm maybe jagged too jagged for this podium thing kind of banging not to disrespect on the educational tip but from that avenue from what I was doing. It didn't fit. It, it it fit, but it didn't fit. You, you understand what I'm yeah. saying? Um, they can like you. They can like your music, like the message, but not like you. Entiendes? Porque yeah. como te miras, o como ellos piensan porque ellos están en otro path, y tú llegas con esto, el mensaje, y, hey, que este güey, es uno de la calle, whatever, yeah. whatever, right? So, we moved that. I instantly say, man, I got to make another one, bro. So, you're, yeah. out, you're album three now. Yeah, I go, I got to make another EP right now, bro. It's a, Talk to Elo, we talk, chop, blah, blah, blah. Started doing it. He started working. That's what I met him. The, now, and now, is this where, where Skyline comes into play? This no. is this is where the this beginning. is where Filtered Souls, yeah. yeah. This yeah. is where the beginning of Filtered okay. Souls. Hey, you guys are because to educate me on Filtered Souls because oh, uh, filter filter, filter, I used yeah. to buy those. The, the, first, my first, the first Filter Soul ever was a Soldado's tape, my Soldado's tape. That was yeah. the first time you ever seen that little skeleton, and it was hand drawn. It was all crazy. So you were the were you the first one signed to to Scott We weren't signed. It was it was a unit. It was like it was a production it, team. It, it was like, a production team. It was wow. like yeah. it was like this. You down? You down, homie? We're gonna go do this. Yeah, shit. we're down. Yeah, and we're gonna who, we're gonna up, make who, the beats. Who came up with the name? Uh, um, Elo, right? He, uh, Shiesty and Elo, Elo, but I think Shiesty came up with the logo and his brother. Somebody, uh, somebody came up with it. And that's the, the skeleton uh, with the, the, the skeleton, skeleton playing on the cello. Which is yeah, right it's a skeleton here, playing on the cello. Yeah. See, I got that shit bang right here. So, so it's playing on the cello. I always thought it was on the throne. I don't See, like, know why. And it went, yeah, it went from that to on my skin, you know. Yeah. Like my, so you were down from oh, day bro, one. No, no, it, it's because I embodied it, bro, and I took it because the, the people that were down with me. Yeah. And my brothers and my family, they they put all of it. They even put their their jeopardize their livelihood for it, and they even jeopardize their freedom for it, doing stuff that we shouldn't be doing just to make budgets to try to put the tape out. Mm-hmm. Just to pay rent and things, and um, tape money used to be whatever we made. It, it wasn't a choice whether you were going to sell tape. You had to sell tape because we had a coffee can that you had to put money in every day. And sometimes that coffee can it was a folders little shitty can. Just pew, reach in there, I got to make up and fucking pay the life. Who like, oh yeah, but you got to put that back because you got to make sure you put it back a note in there. It's like that, bro. It's the co- coffee, you know, mm-hmm. a little stash like your mom or something. Yeah. I, go I still eat. work my budgets like that. Right, 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 yeah. <laughs> I do. I'm like, oh man, I got a hundred bucks for savings. I got to hey, pay that back. Remind yeah. me to put something in the can before we leave, dog. Yeah. So it's, it, it was, it was that trip, right? And you got, you got this tattooed in the nineties? I got this, yeah. And and then it wasn't okay to have tattoos. You were, you, they were looking at you like you were like, oh, these fools right, at massive. first probably were like, whoa, right? Because they were like, what the? But in the '90s, it wasn't like it wasn't really accepted to have tattoos either, right? I t- I, well, they automatically associated yeah, with a gangster, yeah, prison, yeah. Or, yeah. Or, or, or or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Now it's like <laughs> now, now everybody's got yeah. one. Now it's like, yo, I got four sleeves. Can we wrap this up, dog? I got a tattoo appointment right now. This dog. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, so, so, so we start doing the second tape, right? Where I start. We're at the third one. We're at the third one. We're at the third one. Third tape, right? Which was just self-titled Mad One EP, and I had um. Elo was now working with a cat named Big Main. Big Main got on the track with me. That's my homie right there. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 What up, man? And, 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 and shout out to Big Main. And um, uh, my my boy, my brother, I grew up in second grade with uh, Mar- Marcos Ma- Marquitos Maniac. Maniac Marcos and shit. Mar- they call him Maniaco. Um, Maniaco. He's yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. one of the illest, illest gangster rappers ever. Like, what I mean is people could talk and write raps. and See, see like, when you hear people like... Um, when people are talking what they do and what they live, um, and you feel it and you know it, 
that's that guy. That's that's gangster rap. Like everything that guy is saying ain't no fabrication. It's like it's for real. Gee, it's for real, bro. Yeah. And and if you know, you know. And if you can read it between the, the 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 metaphors and whatever he's doing, it's there. But he's very articulate on how he folds his words into 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 each other. You know what I mean? From subject to subject, and it, and and it's he, he's very underrated. You know what I mean? But he was on that tape. Um, who else was on that tape? That's it. And then me and then Shiesty was on a song uh, called Government Rape with me. Shiesty, Shiesty was see, rapping see, at this time? Yeah, yeah, Shiesty was rapping, yeah. See, every tape every tape contained, um, like I said, the first tape, so Laos was like very aggressive, very upfront. Get um, 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 uh, Get Down was the only like song that was up pace. Kicking Dog, would you, would you consider that trap music in today's world? I consider it, what, the, the, what I was doing? Yeah. What I was doing because if you guys were talking about like the transas and what was really going on in San Diego during that time, um, it was more of like it was a real no, trap. No, I, I think I, I think the only I think one of the real trap songs that I've done ahead of its time was Los Catrachos with with Frost. Los I, Catrachos. I, I wrote that fool's verse and I did it. Who, who um, are Los Catrachos? Um, it's a uh, banditos como banditos. Oh, banditos como okay. banditos. Right. Um, malrones, caca, um, you know, movimiento de allá en México, just in his madre. Um, and they and they come from South America. Oh, they call catrachos over there. People that se co- so crestan la gente. Y todo les madre okay, okay, okay. So um, the song's called Los Catrachos, and and that one I'm spitting like you know that kind of and that's like trap. Like it's talking about you know having you know white women cross the board. I felt like San Diego and, was really ahead of their time oh, with the trap music. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 Especially yeah. like uh, I remember uh, what is it? En cualquier barrio, the, mm-hmm. the tráfico. Sh- yeah, tráfico. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I, for me, that was like one of the first trap songs uh, I, I ever heard. heard. Yeah, and. Because when you right say here, trap, well, there's a like, you can, well, trap, you're talking for, about like me, trapping trap in the hood, the like slanging, yeah, yeah. tranzas. But not trap because there's trap music that is That's like the, the instrumental, in the, the, the beats, the yeah, yeah. No, no, so no, no. Talking but you're talking about trap, like movidas, like yeah. like oh, talking about yeah. what what we were dealing with in the street. But a lot yeah. of people back then that were involved with it. You know, it was still like, don't tell anybody your business. Don't tell on each other. Like, you wanted to not be affiliated yeah. in like the public. Not be affiliated, but he, he's got a brand new deep. Porsche. Yeah. 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 No, Porsche. we're like seeing helicopters in Rosarito, but like crossing the border and like, you know, yeah. going to the radio station. Well, you know yeah, what I'm saying? People, like, people don't ever talk about that. And when, and when, and, no, I don't like to talk about it, right? Because when I, when I do, I grew up in San Isidro in the border town, the busiest border town yeah. in the world. Say that. So growing up in the 80s and the 90s through there, just seeing what was going on in our neighborhood. And you talk about, like, just, you know, just average folk right and right. they'd be like oh yeah right like you 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 seen that like yeah 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 it, 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 yeah, it was coming hey, yeah. you know and, and you'd walk into the homie's house yeah the home. and, and their parents were in the mix and, yeah. you'd, and, yeah. and it was like well, Shit, what, what you is just that? Knew. your whole family mom. yeah <laughs> dog it's no, like no, no, you know <laughs> but you see you see these things dog and it's like you know the whole the whole glamorizing of the hustle and of like you know slanging and all that stuff yeah. that happened like they were portraying this city and this community with the individuals that were here. Not only that, but the plug and all that stuff. Yeah. Guess where they resided at? Yeah. And, you know, you're talking about where you grew up, dog. Like, the only thing that separated that area from the wall. The, yeah, yeah. A, a fake wall yeah. that made it think like that was 20 minutes away, but it's really like a quarter of a mile. Yeah. Like, straight up, like a one, like, I, I Two, open, three I football fields there. Yeah, there. Three football fields there. Like you wake up and you could see like yeah. Revolution. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, bro, bro, um, bro like, <laughs> it's, like <laughs> they I don't said, get it. Stems it. down to even they family don't get it, as, as as down from the dope dealing to, um, hey, vamos a ir al Jack in the Box que está ahí cerca de la con la cruz de la frontera y uh, your cousins or your relatives popping out the trunk and you're paying the coyote 500 bucks back in the days and boom. Or why was it always or, fast food restaurants? It was always the Burger King, or the McDonald's, right. or, or, or dude, the dude, Burger dude, King dude. was famous. Right. Uh, or, 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 alguien, or alguien, or alguien, or alguien, because it was quick to get on the freeway, right there. <laughs> <laughs> or someone's gonna, or someone's gonna borrow your birth certificate. And they're gonna cross their kid with your birth certificate. Hey, bro, you know is, what I mean? is it, is it or what about common, the, the, the like family you, member that that passed away and now he had a second so life? Up, yeah, yeah, soaked yeah. up that social now security now, number, now, dog, now, yeah, with the quickness. Taxes. Good thing that don't happen nowadays. They think that they think that like you know the people in our neighborhood and and in yeah. our families that they name their son after them because they're like, yo, that's my namesake. Yeah. Nah, they want to use that social oh. security number. Hey, I, I, I met, I met, a, I met a, a young lady not too long ago, man. She's like, yeah, she's like in her late 30s, right? And she was like, hey, my birthday is this day. My real birthday is this day, but my, my birth certificate says a whole different day. And I was like... I don't, I don't know where that came from. And I was like, "Well, how old are you really?" And she was like, "Well, I'm going with my youngest age." I said, "All right, all right, that's it was cool." Was like thirty something, like oh, thirty six. Hey, or something. hey, trip out. <laughs> it, it goes further than our culture. I had a homeboy that was a Vietnamese, right? Yeah, right. 
that I wrestled in high school. We ended up going to this uh, tournament in Hopeville. We're in Hopeville, right? Mario Lopez was there. Shout out to Mario Lopez. I don't know, bro. He's a Dodger fan. <laughs> I said, well, nah, I, I got love for that. I said, wait, Rasa, wait. He's, he's politicking. He's playing the game, fool. Okay. All right. Yeah, he's, 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 yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, I know. He's all Dodger now, right? right? He's Dodger now. So, so you're uh, in the Imperial Valley yeah, in Hopeville. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Imperial Valley in Hopeville, right? And um, uh, this dude that was wrestled 119, right? And I wrestled, oh, that day I was wrestling at 105. Mm -hmm. Oh, you were 105 pounds? Yeah. Damn. How old were you? Any burritos oh, back then, dog? So or what? 16. 16 oh, 105, dog? Yeah. So, um, but I like you lose weight. Uh, my normal weight was weight. like one twenty two. So my normal okay. weight was one ninety two, but I went to one hundred five. <laughs> Trip out. And in this corner. And, and, and what I'm saying, the reason I'm bringing this up is because this dude, <laughs> uh, we had to sleep in people's hosts. They would host you, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So I ended up with the Vietnamese homie and the other black homie, and they were fucking clowning and clowning this fool. And you, you know, just but it's in the hood. You know how it is. Back yeah, then, yeah, it was yeah. so sensitive. Way. No, it was, yeah, it no, was harsh. It, bro. It's it was hard. It's changed. <laughs> it's changed. You get based on dog. You get based on. I know your mama jokes for days. I got some in the chamber. You ready? You ready? Yeah. So I asked him, I was like, man, because I always wrestle with this fool, right? And I was like, in, in practice, and I was like, what the fuck? I go, hey, man, how the fuck are you so strong, right? Because he, he wanted to eat the donuts. He's, He's like, like, I'm really 35. He was eating a shitload. I go, how are you so strong? I made a joke. Fucking yeah. you so strong because you eat so fucking much, right? And he starts laughing. And he goes, no, you know why? And he looked around. He looked around like someone was watching. He was like, I go, he goes, because I'm 26. I what? Go, I go, what? I go, yeah, I go we go, what? Me and my homeboy go, what? My Lamont, my boy Lamont Horn, we go, what? You're fucking 26. Matter of fact, the dude in high school that wrestled me, <laughs> no, the guy, no, I trip out. The guy that, the, the, no, the, the dude, no, it's, it's click. The dude that, that, I, that I'm talking about, the black homie that was there with the wrestling thing, he's the one that introduced me to Tiny and Elo and Shiesty. Oh, damn. So that's okay. my high school. So he's So there. we're on album number oh, three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 Wait, uh, he's saying that there's some dude in high school that was 26 <laughs> trip, trip, that was masquerading yeah, as no, he was like no, 17. But Oh. And I asked him, what the hell is that? Right? And he goes, because, man, he goes, I'm a boy from that, Vietnam. <laughs> that's what he said. That's exactly what he said. And he goes, my dad paid in gold to get our family here. Damn. Uh, he goes, so when our family got here, he goes, I came from New York. I go, yeah. He goes, yeah, my family was already here. And won't, some of them were up north and some of them here. And now my mom and dad are here. Everybody came here. I ended up in New York. From New York, they sent me here. Like a coyote shit. Like, Right? To here. And he goes, yeah. I go, yeah? He goes, yeah. He goes, but back then, the government would give you $20,000 because of some kind of grievance type thing because of what we did when we dropped the bombs and all that over there. We'd, there's some kind of... It's a refugee stipend right, that right, they right, give. Right, right, So he's like, they give you 20 Gs. So my parents said I was 16 years old, right? And wow. I'm like, oh, shit. And he goes, so you've been... 20 here. racks. Yeah. Three years, bro. He's been already. This, he's already a junior. He was older than me. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, damn, this motherfucker is like with man strength. Yes, yeah, yeah, you can feel it, bro. So when he told you me, you can that, feel it, bro. No, but, but, but what I'm saying is, this shit is deeper than than just uh, a Latin culture. It, it's 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 with Asian folks. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's with uh, Oriental. I don't even know what the Asian and Oriental. No, it's the same correct, thing. Correct, yeah, correct, a umbrella, Asian is a thing. Or whatever. I think, yeah. Um. But now that we're talking on that, I, I see Home Depot. I'm driving Home Depot. It used to be all Rasa there. Now I see um, Africans, um, people from Ghana. I've asked them. I've gone, when I go to Home Depot, I stop and I go, hey, homie, where are you guys from? Just asking, bro. I know you guys, you know. And they tell me I'm from Ghana. I'm from Nigeria. And these are straight people, like, on some asylum. Or I don't uh, know yeah, where they come from. Yeah, but it's a asylum. shitload of them, homie. Yeah. What I'm saying is it's, it's bigger than, and back to the homie, yeah. it's bigger than you giving a dude from some other place here, boom, boom, boom. Here's a little house. Here's a yeah. little insurance. Boom, 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 whatever, <laughs> whatever, right? No, I mean, just, whatever works. I don't hate whatever, but yeah. But when it's politically incorrect, homie, yeah. With situations like that, it's you have to say shit. Sometimes. You have to, yeah, yeah, because then it's disrespect. Even as being a fellow man, it's like they're doing it to my to the fellow man, and I'm not gonna. You're not gonna say nothing and stand by his side because yeah. that could be you. Yeah, you know, uh, Dennis. Yeah, so you have to say it in the conversation. So I got back, you. So back to the third tape. Third, album. third so tape. Now we're wrapping. Hey, we now got we're wrapping, there. Now we're wrapping it up. Now the third tape. You already, you know, you already got one feature on there. You done hustled. Now what's well, your next one? What you got? That's when I meet uh, Skyline Records at the Gavin Convention, and I was at the Gavin Convention. I couldn't afford to get in. Gavin. Yeah. So the Gavin I, Convention was like a musical convention it's, that was like hip hop it's based. It's like the magic show. It's like, you know, back in the 90s, like hip hop, the way that you would get discovered was through these conventions and these seminars. So basically, it was like a collective of record labels, ARs, 
doing like a convention and getting together and yeah. they would bring all their artists they would bring all the label they would like do a whole promotional had, thing had because panels and their shit yeah because there, there wasn't really anything artists, breaking yeah there wasn't really anything it's just like any type of convention where they're showcasing products that's what they would do with hip-hop music and gavin was one of them it'd be like new jack jack the rapper there was like a couple of them that were going on yeah, yeah. so that particular year maybe it was 97 or 98 yeah it landed 97 here. or 98 they brought it to san diego and we knew that like yo all of the industry all of the hip hop industry is coming to san diego what year was this yeah 97 like yeah 97, 97 right and um we used to do shit at club excess so yeah. at club excess Tijuana. we had that motherfucker cracking like you know like people would go there like it was the thing yeah Ten dollar all you can drink, but yeah, it was like the tunnel. All you can drink. It was like the tunnel in the East Coast. But, That's the best yeah, way they they but, would call it the West Coast it, tunnel it, it because was almost like you would the tunnel and excess was in Tijuana. Yeah. That th yeah, excess was in Tijuana, so it had this kind of like really rough, oh, yeah. rigid <laughs> type of like outlook and perspective. But all they did was play hip hop, and it was like a it was a Mexican club that you could walk to. So that's what like that's what would bring a lot of the the brothers and a lot of the homies from yeah, San Diego because yeah. they can take the trolley. You could walk to the club and then walk, walk right back. back. And what they did was they would pay one cover and it was all you can drink. The drinks would be watered down or whatever. Yeah. But <laughs> that's where all the neighborhoods, especially like the black neighborhoods, yeah. would go and party yeah. in TJ because they were too afraid. Yeah. Well, they weren't too afraid, but they just felt more comfortable yeah. not wandering to Revolution. True, true. So the owner of that club catered to, that, to, the, to those people for a lot of years. And it was hip hop and ELO... Became the manager of that yeah, club, yeah. and that's where it came. And down. that's where it's, and that's where it started popping. So when the cabin came, we was like, okay, fuck, how are we gonna do this, right? We we're like selling tapes. Elo gonna, was a hustle genius, by the way, dog. I'm gonna throw that out there, man. He understood how to how to how to guerrilla market what he was trying to accomplish. So Elo so was a producer. So he was a record label. Right, he was everything, everything, man. Everything. Yeah, yeah. He, he was, was responsible for some iconic San Diego. Oh, oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah, fuck yeah. I was I was in the room for half the shit that you hear that he's known for. I was in that room with him when he was making it. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean, vibing and and it just somebody else gets it, you know. It just yep. it was a movement. Yeah, it, we're just trying to make that that movement. condo in the Playmores and in, in the River Bottom, yeah, man, Regency produced Way a lot of produced a lot of San Diego hip hop history, yeah, and, and it it's originated in in the River Bottom, and then from there in Otay, in, in, in Otay, yeah, ended up in North Park in a in a in a, in a building, you know, facility that was bottom up records, uh, yeah, that was kind of afterwards. Then they moved out, and then Filter Souls just kept it, me, him, and that and. Basically, him and whoever he was messing with, yeah, and whatever he had going on, yeah. And that's that's prior to that, um, that's when we're selling the tapes in the street. So we said, okay, we're gonna get some, try to get an ad. And so he had Oswaldo, the guy that owns the mm -hmm. club, yeah. He need to get an ad. Okay, now we're gonna put our songs in there though, and at the end we'll put TQ or some shit, right? <laughs> whoever, right? Yeah, it's yeah. coming a big head, but kind of like reverse uh, frontliner, but using the big name to track, right? To just put you on that scale. Um, did it? Did that when Got radio the Gavin, Gavin convention came? Yeah. Same day the Gavin was happening, I was at the uh, at the convention center at the at the Gavin, slanging tapes, giving someone out. Um, Oracle, the psychotic alien, was fucking rapping his ass off. Over, I don't know if you guys know OG. Yeah. Right? Masters yeah. of the Universe. Oracle, Come on, man. Oracle. Yeah. Come on, OG. Shout out to Oracle. Yeah. Um, was busting with his box like he always did. Had a little box in his tapes. He had a selection. He always had tapes on deck of different series and shit, different styles. Um, he was ahead of his time. Um, uh, he was but, filtered souls too. Yeah, he was filtered souls. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he yeah. Was filtered souls. What? He, uh, uh, yeah, Black or, or, Mikey's cousin. That's an album called yeah, I know, or, or, yeah. or, or, or the Psychotic Alien. It's yeah, a, it's bro, it's one of the hardest it's a albums. Tape when he squatted down on a planet, and there's another planet that that's, that's, that's a filter the, that's souls. Filter souls no. shit. Wow. Uh, but hey, Oracle, uh, Oracle oh. shit. Wait, wait. Filter soul oh. sound. You know. Okay. Filter souls came. Uh, bro, I, my mind's blown right now. So, also the homegirl that we met. Big big Disney star was a part of Filter. Yeah, she had Raymond Simone. Raymond Simone. Yeah, Who was a who okay, was a okay, part so of let's all go, this? Okay, okay. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're, we're, we're going through the timeline, so we're we're about to introduce just, Gavin. Okay. 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 Get to the mic. Yeah, yeah get to the get to the mic. Get to the mic. Okay. 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 So 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 trip out. So 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 we get them. We 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 do the grunt work. Do the ads. We we put. We even made sure we put fucking advertisement by the airport and the route driving where they would like to drive everywhere. It started every fucking thing we could think. Got them there. Okay, the Gavin Convention flooded it with flyer flooding it. Okay. Next thing you know, at everybody, all the record heads are like, hey, man, everybody's going to San Diego, like down Mexico right TJ, here. TJ, yeah. Two for one. They want to experience Mexico, yeah. and now they want to see what the fuck is up with these people. in the Who are these motherfuckers, right? When they show up, homie, there's 1,300 people in the rain. In the rain, bro. A hundred and, I looked at the, I looked at, he goes, I, I even talked to them. Uh, Elo and them, and I was wondering, hey, they're not going to let nobody in. 
right? Because I had to try to get my cousins at the end. Like, what the fuck, right? It was packed, bro. Packed. So record heads are seeing this shit. They're like, who are these motherfuckers? You know, right? So I do my, everybody does their shit, does their shit. Motherfucker comes, start, you know, automatically execs handing you cards all over the fucking place. Finally, um, Johnny Roar comes up in a suit and shit. Johnny Roar, the artist, he, could, he was an A&R at the time. He walks, hey, hey, wait, wait. And he gives it to my brother because my brother kind of looks like me. He's like, and then my brother comes back. He goes, hey, man, it's the wrong guy. It's him, homie. And my brother gave it to me. like, all right. And I looked at him and he goes, shook his hand. And he goes, all right, man, I like your shit, blah, blah, blah. He left. Dump everybody. Everybody in their mama. Was, next thing you know, I'm at home after that. And Elon and Shiesty got flown out because they met that dude, D, that was doing shit from Seattle. And this is a time where shit was getting rough. Yeah, Kazzy D was was the artist that was on Skyline. Right, he was the first artist on. But he was on, just juicing them for Fatty. Yeah, but he was in, he was based he in was Seattle. Just juicing them for fatty. He was based in Seattle. His name was Kazzy D, and um, so uh, Skyline Records was based in Vancouver, Canada, and Vancouver is like TJ Sunny Cigarro. Yeah. It's kind of like it's close. It's close. Yeah. It's like the biggest it's the city. Town. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's West Coast Canada, and these cats okay. were like you know yeah. capital investors from yeah. Vancouver, Correct. who who were in, who wanted to be in the music business. Okay. So, so Kazzy D came down with the Gavin. They brought Johnny Rourke and a couple other label execs. They caught wind. They went to excess. We wrecked it, <laughs> and then they started passing out cards. And then next thing you know, they got direct contact with Filtered Souls production team, which was Elo and Shicey at the time. And mm-hmm. next thing you know, we go to the studio, mm-hmm. and they're packing up everything because they're like, "Yo, we want to meet with you," and they got flown to Vancouver. Yeah. That's and where, that, that's and where that's you're when at. I, and that's when I got a phone call, you know, in the middle of the trenches, you know, my friend had just caught a case, my best friend, my roommate. Active. Uh, and I'm like, fuck, man, I, how am I going to pay rent? You know, Active. I had my kids, I had twin girls. I was like, oh, man, how am I going to do this? You know, I was stressing. And I was ready to take drastic measures, do what I have to do. And, you know, Big away, I was already working and just everything else. Like, how much can you work in one day? Like, shit. So I was like, fuck, and still try to be a decent human being for my kids, you know, not knowing what I'm doing because I was a young man and I didn't know how to be a father. I wasn't even supposed to be a father. Yeah. Not not disrespectful to them, but just I wasn't I wasn't the material. You know, I, I, I growing up with a single mom, along with that, I don't know, I don't know, I don't I'm not I wasn't equipped to be, you know, yeah. uh, you, learn, right. you learn real quick. You learn real quick. So um so I'm like, fuck. And so next thing you know, they're calling me. They call me from Canada. I'm like, hey. What's up? And I'm like, what's up, bro? And he was like, where are you at? All stressed out. Hey, where you at, man? Like, you know, like, <laughs> like, what do you fucking think, bro? Like, I'm uh, going, going to work. Like, right here. You're, you're here. They have no like, cell phones at that time, right? No. Nah, no. So you're like, I'm, I'm here. Here's a house phone. Yeah, yeah. here. What the fuck? The crib. Yeah. The crib. So I'm like, hey. And he goes, hey, man, don't fucking do nothing. And I'm like, don't do nothing? Motherfucker, what do you think? I'm, don't do nothing. I got a family. Like, he knew. And he goes, don't. Please don't. And he goes, these motherfuckers really tripping on you. I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that a million times, bro. I have motherfuckers come up to this little fucking rinky dink house shack I'm living in the back of someone's house. Yeah. Fucking and trying to flash their shit, but instead of helping me out, they're just flashing their shit to get me to go along with their bullshit, homie. And it was a bunch of local and big heads. Like, fuck you, homie. And they, I, I tolerate that shit. I'm not going to f- go for that. I, I'm in survivor mode, homie. Yeah. Right? So um, he's like, don't do nothing. I go, and then some man gets on the phone. Go, and someone wants to talk to you, man. And it was Dan Tartaglio. Guy with the money, the guy, the guy. It was the guy. It was and 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 God bless him because um, if he didn't ever through that for however it happened, um, a lot of us wouldn't be in the position we are, or it, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't have propelled or shifted things. Maybe all, a lot of us would be doing the same thing, but the way it happened, it wouldn't have happened how it happened. smoother transition. It would it would it would it would it would have been like that. So um, he told me, hey, man, blah, 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 you know, I'm doing it. And it's just, it's just something about the dude talking to me. So I said, all right, I'm willing to wait. And I'm not talking, you know, back on the phone and calling me, again, hey, man, come on, Tom, please don't, you know, because he knew I was going to do my whatever I do and whatever. And my boy was gone, so he knew now there's nothing. This fool's on his own out here, like, fucking stressing. And yeah. You're promising all this shit, and you're eating dinners and wearing diamond necklaces, and this fucking guy's over here starving. You know, he's going to do what he has to do. Yeah. Uh, so... I avoided that and said, okay, I'm going to I ain't going to do shit. So I did. I held tight, came back. Next thing you know, man, some people show up and it's them guys and it's a group thing and it's a budget and, but money never came. Money came to the projects. Money came to make things work. Money came into people's pockets, but never into the artists. Not one of us that I know of. Not one. And, um, and so, so, so you, you, at that point, you had to understand, you had to tell yourself as an artist, it's either I'm going to get upset or I'm going to do the trade-off. 
um, what was I doing? Oh, uh, five months ago, I was selling tapes in the street. Shit. Still the same shit. And that shit, nothing, nothing. Don't have to sell the street. Now they're going to sell them and push it further. Fuck it. I'll take this one. Uh, right? Humble myself. Even when I was treated like, you know, like, yeah. like a yuda. Like, treated like the doña that takes care of the kids with the money. The family that has money, but the doña raises the kids. Like the nanny? But the Mexicans ain't cool. You know? <laughs> but, but she's raising your kids, though. I was treated like that kind of shit. Yeah. Like, you know, like, like, so you're like, all right, whatever. Yeah, I think, I think the different part about that, too, was that there was like, it was either like, okay, do this or do... Or or keep on doing it, uh-huh. but with this with this type of machine behind you. Behind you, because like we, you know, we were on the radio, yeah. and then we got yeah. a lot of opportunities. Yeah. Like yeah. you got the opportunity yeah. to do like you know w, all, WCW, but it all WWE. Came out of budgets, though. You understand? Like it was like, um, God bless everybody that helped me and did what they did, and even things that I didn't know they did. But it was one of those things where, hey man, I'm starving, man. My kids, bro. My kids are in school. Yeah, twins. Twins. Like, like, come Two on, man. One. I, and I'm working. I'm like, I can't, I can't even. Now, now I'm not. Now I just quit to just do this and to all in, like you know, all in. And I'm like, okay. So I'm like, and then they would say, oh, what's this? Okay, this movie that was made. Now you're interacting with Conan. Yeah, let me get some cash though. I can't be like fucked up, like you know. Before we get into the Conan though, this is album number four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is album. This, well, is, the last, this, is, this is the last album. Okay, okay. So, so because we so, had to, okay, so they did the Filter Souls family business. That's the collectively grabbed all of us. I remember that. That's the they, first they, album they, where they, that's when they grabbed him too. And it was like a hip hop history, it was a compilation, man. right? Hip hop history, yes, dog. Yes, that is Black Mikey, Johnny yeah, Secret War, Service, yeah. Big Main, Secret Service, which collectively is ES and Status. Yeah. Um, so all all that made the knockers they had the most knockers on the shit it was a fucking secret service album damn near no for real not i'm not talking yeah. shit because they put in the work and they had their shit ready ready so once they were working they say it's the secret 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 and they were just vibing so they did a lot of work how many songs were you guys knocking out a day during that time it, it was hard a to lot. get in it, uh, they a, were, a lot a it lot was, it was hard because now we're now they're blocking out studios now it's yeah. bigger now it's blocked out time now it's not you're not in your pad. You can't just it. walk in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's all organized and now it's budgets and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Right? And we now were the, writing a lot. Now the producers are being stretched out and they're trying to do yeah. it act for act at the same time. Yeah, we were like slide beats. Yeah. We'll, we'll and, be ready. And, and God bless Tell us them when. Them fools for fucking putting that shit. They were giving heat. And some, you know, there's hit and miss, but they were giving heat, homie. And they were giving heat to multiple personalities, multiple um uh, and these were only styles. two producers still at this time. There yeah. was only yeah. Elo yeah. and Shice. Hey, hey, but it. even then, they tried to bring producers in. Um, Steve Vicious, shout out, be Steve Vicious, Mike one Ski. of the Ill- illest fools around. <laughs> Mike Ski yeah. too. We we brought Mike Ski to the table. Yeah. We brought VMF to the so table. It was so in house that they would they hey, would not been, let it happen. Question I, I came across this other day: Is Steve Vicious part of uh, the Vicious B? Uh, no, but, Vicious B Pop. Yeah, X and O's. Is it X? He, he's part of it. I, I didn't. I didn't I, think so. I asked him that. Oh, okay. I asked them that. What, 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 I, so that's San Diego I, I history. Corrected right? Right? A vicious beat posse. I heard that that was I know who very, vicious beat posse uh, is. I heard, I heard that that was X a o, very. X, I heard X and O's. If you see the cover, Steve Vicious is standing there, and he has like the because like there's like, like four or five dudes on the cover, and he has like shorts on, and he and he sits. I didn't and know has, that. And he has a fat rope chain, and that's him. I guess I never seen that picture. Light No, no, yeah, that's the album cover. I seen it not too long ago. So I was I was told that that's the very first hip hop record in San Diego. Yeah. Steve is a legend, bro. That dude even did uh, with MC, MC Hammer, Hammer dog, homie. Dog, yeah. So he's he's legendary. A lot of people he, don't give that guy props. I was, you know? I was I always do. I was working uh-huh. with with Steve way before Soul Tree Funk. Man, I was yeah. fourteen years old, dog. And Steve was the first studio I ever went into. Steve Vicious is the Dr. Dre for for a rasa. Easy, uh, bro. He easy did, call. Uh, Steve Vicious, little one and, shadows and all them. Fools. Bro, it's bigger than that, There's dude. Steve Vicious, Night Out, all them. He bro, gave them all their sound. It's, it's bigger you know than I mean? that like, though, too, dog. Like Steve Vicious, bro, influenced major producers in hip-hop period and he does not get the credit that he deserves because he's a humble cat man yeah he's so humble soft-spoken but he pioneered and engineered a whole era and influenced yeah. the you biggest know? producers yeah. that you know yeah I, that's and one guy there was I, like, I always wanted to meet man dog I, you hey. never met steve never so let me tell you something he, about steve man when hip-hop i went the internet first started there was a there was a like a website man i can't think of the website but you know what I'm talking about, Steve. There was where producers would battle each other. Steve was the undisputed champion yeah. of that website, oh, yeah. dog. Beats, and there yeah. was everybody on that thing, dude. And he was like, bro, he would. Mer- they would have beat battles. And this dude, man, dog, a, so, so amazing. I'm going to show you so, what I'm going to release. So amazing. Like, he, he did all. I'm going to show you the three tracks that I'm going to put out. In the- Who introduced yeah, you to Steve Vicious? Steve, I keep story. Uh, Steve, Who introduced you to Steve? He's in the video with me. He's in the corner, man, telling me hey, to fuck homeboy up. 
Who introduced you to Steve? Um, Little. I went there at Little. Um, Dang, I, he's I, not I, even giving me my props, dog. Oh, oh, you, wow. No, 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 no. You, you wanted wow. me to, no, you wanted me to do the track for that. Um, it was a song you and uh, uh, it had a sample in it. No, you probably recorded with. With, but, but, but with, yeah, yeah. With dude, but. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Damn. <laughs> I first heard through, through him because I know they were doing stuff when I was with Filter Souls. Because, like I said, yeah. you know, it was politics. Yeah, uh, Filter Soul Camp would not let certain foods would not let other exterior um, producers come within and produce for their artists. Like, like almost like a Rough Rider thing. You know yeah. how Rough Riders is Wu Tang too. That like collectively that sound just stays in that sound, right? Yeah. Um, that's kind of like what it was. You know what I mean? So uh, the the, the it invitation, was always like that, huh? The invitation and the door opening for somebody to come in and, and show their work. It wasn't about that. It was more the politic of someone trying to keep their brand and their sound and and it yeah authentic. It was and like some death row. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. I can't I can't really blame them for that, but it would have grew. It would have. Kept, it would have snowballed because you know collaboration, especially in hip hop, yeah. is important. Yeah. And it would have kept, it would have continued to yeah. grow. Yeah. But oh. you know, sometimes, sometimes oh. those things happen. Hey, but well, the cool thing about it, and before, I'll, before I don't mean to cut you off, with Filtered Souls was like making the band. Like when the filtered, there was already figments that were part of Filtered yeah. Souls, like Big Mang, yeah, Black Mikey, Tomas was already part of Filtered Souls. They helped that. But then it was like a new generation where there was like a lot of people that were brought in for Skyline and for Filtered Souls. And it was like pretty much like, yo, who's the dopest on this beat? Who's the dopest on this beat? Yeah. Who's the dopest on this beat? And that's how Secret hey, Service got on hey, a lot of songs. So I got a question. Was uh, There was this group that used to always go on the trolley and they said, oh, we don't have any cuss words. I don't remember their name, dog. Were they Try part Five? Of, were they Try part, Five? Try Five. Were they nope. part of Filtered Souls? Uh, no, nope, nope. but they were hustlers, man. Yeah, they were. Ace they were the hustler. that trolley. Dude was Ace the Hustler. He'd be like, yo, buy, hey. buy a... Buy a tape and I'll give you a poster. You know what I'm saying? And like those dudes were, were with same thing with Diddle, Diddle Brown too. Yeah. Like him Diddle and his yeah, son. Yeah. He was, he, they were a little bit afterwards, but yeah, shout out to their hustle too, man. When we were at, at I remember we were at the radio station and uh, that dude you're talking about from TriFi. Yeah. He was a uh, boycotting outside. When I was <laughs> homies, they were walking back and forth and shit. Yeah, it was 90, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they wouldn't play their they music. Play their shit. Because it, yeah, it, was, it, was it, was it was a female and two males, right? Yeah. The, the ball headed homie. Big here. June came out. I'm Big June, all dressed in black. He was part of that crew. Straight jacking. That's 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 Repo Records. That's the rec. That's that's them. That's that record label. That's the label. That's wow. Big, that's Big June and them. That we're getting June and doing their thing with him. And then he, I don't know if he got locked up and just kind of just fizzed away and shit. But anyways, back to not anyways, but back to um, <laughs> album number four. We're we're, we're doing a, a, the the cycle thing. I did the cycle and I did Didi Da for the collective album of Filter Soul Family, and um. When I did that, uh, that's when uh, they were putting out together the album. Everybody was in the studio um, doing their thing, refining, the, the, getting the final product done because they were trying to shift it to Universal and a couple other heads. They were going to grab it. Um, that's when uh, Conan met. So uh, now you're getting into the wrestling. That's when. Al after, after album number four. Four, right there. That's when it happened. Damn. Um, they came in. Um, P.O.D. We had did a video with uh, Devin D. Havens, Fortress Entertainment, um, Com production company and Ruben was there and a guy named Ruben, Tor you know Ruben, Ruben Torres, Torres yeah. shout, up, out, Ruben? shout out to Ruben Torres man God bless him and his family um, uh, Devin DeHaven Devin DeHaven uh, was sh a shot had shot something for a POD and, um, um, and that's when Ruben was doing some work for him on, on like some side work was this already like a Youth of the Nation yeah, or yeah, Alive yeah. Um, or one it of was, the big it was albums boom. It was, oh, here, here comes, comes the, the boom, boom. And, does um, Mikey Mike, Mikey have something to do with Here Comes the Boom no he, he's a satellite album because I know Mike Ski got some plaque for that Satellite album. I've seen it. And so I don't know what it Because I thought it came did. from Legion of Doom. Uh, uh, I'm not, nah, he got that plaque for I'm me. not sure, so man. The, the, the I don't want to misspeak, yeah. man. I don't want to misspeak, uh, okay. dog. So, um, so, uh, so we, uh, we, we, get to, uh, we get there, and then that's when... Um, four minutes. Oh, shit. I'm going to hurry up and brush this shit. So um, we get there. The Conan goes... Uh, me, Conan. Conan, somehow, Ruben had pitched him. They are trying to do a video for WCW for his intro music. He had no music, intro music. Um... And this is what Conan, this is Conan the wrestler we're talking Wrestling about. And, and he's this coming one, he from, was like the, the and, shit. And he's shit. coming from Mexico already, or was oh, he he's already, already out of he's Mexico? He's already in WCW. Crossed over. This is first brand new. Blowing up. Blowing he's blowing up. He's, he's like part of LWO status. at this point already. Yeah, he's pa he's no, he's by himself, like past the Wolf Pack, right after the Wolf Pack. Yeah. So he's a mega star right now. And he said, "Okay, I heard that he wanted um, Dale Felony and Jalen Felony said, I want this much money.' Blah blah blah. He wanted it to use. So, so Jalen Felony was supposed to be on that intro originally. So what you gonna do? I can give it to you. So what you gonna yeah. do? Shit. And he come and goes, 'Fuck that! I ain't paying that for it.' Right? They saw the real. He's doing 
saw the real. He, um, Devin D. Haven showing him a real, boom, 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 and the psycho video. That we had an did. EPK. We had yeah, an EPK. Was, so. And, so he saw the real of all his work, and then my shit popped up right there. And he saw him. He goes, who the fuck is that guy? Right? And he goes, well. And then Ruben was uh, a little bit to help push the narrative on that, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they, I know that because I asked when I asked for money, they said, Hey, that came out of your budget. Where the fuck budget? Where the fuck? Where's the receipt? What are you talking? Nah, right. But hey, whatever it takes. God bless him. Whatever. It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. Right. It worked. So um, Conan saw him. He goes, Next thing you know, they're sitting there. He goes, I want that. Let me talk to him. who is it. They brought us in. One in there. Told Conan. Let me you chop it up, bro. Because there was too many heads, bro. Too many. And I'm like, it was. I didn't feel even like I had a voice, you know. So he took me to the car, sat down, blah blah blah, blah chopped it up, and he. Tell him what I was about. Tell him, you know, my my story. And he, the next thing you know, from that point on, he goes, "I got you." And he said, literally said that, "I got you, homie." Like I'll take you along my whole shit. And you tour, so you toured WCW. And then that's when I did. He used Cycle. We filmed Cycle video. The first one we filmed it in Chicago Park, Chicago Park, in National City, and Revolution, uh, Revolution, and Highland. You were there for that? Yeah, I was. I was yeah, around yeah, back then. Yeah. Uh, and then from there. Um, we went to, uh, started doing um, the second one. Where I said, we got to do Bow Wow Wow, bro. I got a new one I want to do with you. He goes, because he was stressing. He goes, Man, people at the airport hit me up to bus because they think I'm rapping and it's not, it's my shit. He's just yeah. kind of like, and it looks like, you know, they don't know. So he's like, they fuck, I feel like I'm, you know, clowning too much myself. I'm like, all right, little, right, another roll on to Elo. Hey, man, I could have done any beat with anybody, but I was in the camp. This is my camp. Yeah. Yeah, we're in it from here out. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. what it's about, you know. So I'm like, all right, boom. Did it and Bow Wow Wow came out. Next thing you know, they go, We got a bigger budget, homie. And I said, And again, well, can I have, well, can I have some to survive? Nah, homie. And I'm, oh. back, I'm back at that crossroads again. Yeah. You know, things are happening. There's NASDAQ, there's people making business deals. There's, I'm seeing all this. I'm just not saying shit, you know? And wait, there's NASDAQ. You know, there's people making stock. Um, Filtered public- Souls was a publicly public- traded company. A company. Okay, so, 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 so you understand wow. what I'm saying? Yeah. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? It was, yeah. it was so, like, it was like so, the, on the NASDAQ, it was F-S-O-L. So you know how they have call letters, like, for, yeah, yeah. for companies? Yeah. So they, they were really smart investing, and again, it became a publicly traded company, and it was, it was two things. It was vending machines for French fries. It was mm-hmm. called Tasty Fries. It was, like, this new invention, which now they're out. It was a vending machine where you can get fries, and then it was also... Skyline Records partnering up with Universal to distribute hip hop music wow. from the West Coast. Yeah. French fries. There's and there's articles. And, and there's just, articles out there that trip that, out, but trip out, Beto. Cycle video already hit. I'm on t- this ten point something million viewers a week at that time for WCW, right? So they're saying in this household they're playing this shit three times every time. The beginning of the show when he comes out and at the end just to play it like over and over and over, right? So you're like, what the fuck, right? They're like, okay. These fools were using this to pitch to the investors. Look, we got shit. And well, we're rubbing shoulders with Hollywood now. We're rubbing shoulders with WCW now. Yeah. Well, it, well we're, in the, we're playing with the big boys. Yeah, it was cross-branding yeah. right. before yeah. cross-branding, was it? And, 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 and they, they used that to get investors in. Wow. And, and, and it wasn't them making the deals with the second song. I did that. I told Conan, I spoke to Conan, me and Conan did that. And who made that beat? And just because I was signed to was them, Elo. I had to keep them in-house to, 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 to navigate and orchestra, administrate the shit because I was signed to them, right? Yeah. As a portion, so that's how they rolled. But at the time, I'm again, I'm at the crossroads. I'm knowing all this. And them not, it's not about the money, bro. It, it, it was not about the money. It was about the sanity. It's, a, it's about the respect. It was about... Um, understanding like uh, as a human being yeah. like you know this motherfucker i know ain't no friends in this shit but god damn bro like i'm it's i'm bad. the big p- piece of this shit yeah I- i'm the big piece i'm the connector to this wrestling shit and i'm the connector to these this other shit right here the relationship they don't fuck with you they fuck with me because homie's fucking with me so you were so now so they you- so they they still at that point it turned into okay we did bow wow wow and after bow wow wow it's like we're still at the crossroads okay now what are they gonna do are you guys going to do Filter Souls? Are you going to drop a Universal? And it just became a clusterfuck. That's when they, the execution, everything lined up, bro. Everything was there. Yeah. Everything was there. Their shit was ready. The shit that I had going on TV was already happening. So you already had the radio. You already had the demographics going, uh, the, the BDS fucking shit, counting the clicker on their shit nonstop here for the program director got laced up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's making sure he's doing his job. Him and Lisa are doing their job. Do your shit, right? Spin. That shit's getting coded, right? Now, all the relationships with all across the nation, the same, either Clear Channel, whoever it was at yeah. the time, hey, 
Now they're on. You play you playing that shit. I'm playing that shit too, right? That's what happened with their shit, right? Oh, it would have just split. It would have just happened, and now you got the TV shit. Now you got their shit, right? We had it sewn up, homie. It was there, and then bad business, too many heads, and just hunger and drugs collapsed. Fucked it up. <laughs> hey, so back to the WCW. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big wrestling fan, dog. Okay. It, you were you were there, part of a. You, you toured every single night. Nah, I got to I say I got to go to probably like. 12 or 13 of those things. Damn. I got to come out twice with him. And one of them was at a low, at a, I did a low rider show in Tampa Bay. So when I did the low rider show in Tampa Bay, baby bash, shout out to baby bash, um, frost, shout out to frost. Um, and, um, JT, uh, JT from MTD, money. if you know, from MTD. Yeah. JT, yeah, JT money. money. Yeah. Um, Jaime Trago, you know, JT, um, and Cisco, the Frisco Mac, uh, we were out there doing, they had Latino velvet at the time. So they were touring with us and we were out there and, they say, hey, you want to go? Conan goes, hey, they all want to go to the show? Fucking this hour and a half, two hour drive. I'm like, fuck it. Let's jump in the rental. We go. And um, out of nowhere, you want to walk out with me? I'm like, yeah. I'm thinking just walk, whatever. And he's like, hand me a mic. And I'm like, yeah, I can do the song, bro. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> so I do the song. And, I, you know, and then they, they didn't tell me, though. They didn't tell me what was going to happen. So I'm like, I go do the song. They take the mic. And he tell, and all he does is just goes. And he, all he says, I want that, I want that. Right. And I'm like, all right. So I stay there in the court, by the corner, of the, by the steps. And then and he goes, and then he's wrestling fool, and he's just, just he's telling me just stay there, and I'm like, all right, so I'm just staying there, and I get every so often I'm hitting the fucking thing, <laughs> the road, so, something stupid, right? Yeah. And for everybody's in the stands on the front row, and they're just laughing because I'm doing, I'm just like this fucking fool's in there. What the fuck? We were just kicking it, right? So whatever, we're doing it, <laughs> and then Conan goes, he falls and he fucks him up, and then he's kicking him and he fucks him up and he throws him in the middle, and he looks at me and he goes, hey wait, hey wait, and I go, I go what? And he goes, and I'm like, what the fuck? And there's a chair right there. And he's like, hey, wait, I'm in that way. Like, he's mad, though. Like, fucking, like, damn. So I grab him and I slide it in there, right? And he fucks him up. And I'm like, it's all over. It's over, right? We leave. And I'm like, and we go back. And he's acting normal, like nothing happened, right? So I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then I, when we go back there, he goes, <laughs> yeah, and he just gives me a pat. Like, good job, bro. Good job. I'm there and that this way. And I'm like, bro, but la otra way. Did he make a ching out? Well, what are we going to do, bro? Like, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. like, you know, you threw me off. But anyways... That's that's one of the that's funny. Now WCW cool. dog, you got history. Now you're moving to WWE. Um, yeah, WWE. That happened. How did you connect with Rey Mysterio? Oh, that had, that's been that was at WCW. He was he's in the he's in the Conan videos. Every video you can they see, don't even know they don't even know they didn't even know we that had it was to him. Hide him in it because they wouldn't give him the clearance. Where where where's he at in the video? I just yeah, remember the low riders. He's hiding, the dog. The he's re- hiding in plain the sight. Bow, the bow wow wow video. If you watch it, um, he's wearing a, a a zoot suit, a gray one with a black hat, and he's right next to me. He was hiding in plain sight because everybody only seen him. Video, he's in the low rider. And nobody's ever Conan. seen him without a mask nah, at this yeah, point. Yeah. Before nah, then. Nah, nah, And then Conan's driving the low rider, and he's right ne- there's a female next to him, and then right next to him, Ray's right there bobbing his head. Like, he even looks at the camera, and yeah. I'm in the back seat grabbing Conan's head, wrapping from the back seat. And this is before Ray Mysterio was like. Yeah, oh, yeah. This was, he was still, he was barely, barely, bro, coming over from ECW. So he had just transitioned from. Wait, from he Mexico. was on ECW? Yeah. He did a run on ACW, bro. I don't remember that. He they brought them fools there to do the crazy yeah, yeah. Apple, lucha libre you know, things. Lucha libre yeah. shit, you know? It was uh, what was it? It was uh, him and uh, psychosis. Psychosis, um, Juventil Guerrero, um, quién más? El el Conan, psychosis, Conan, Conan, quién más? El pinche Eddie Guerrero. Halloween. Was- Oh, but Halloween, Halloween dog. Man, Manuel, he's fucking crazy. Crazy, dog. Yeah, shout out to Manuel. <laughs> <laughs> he's crazy, that, fool. H- him and, uh, just and on Sikosis. real life. There was a, real life. Yeah, like, no, there was somebody life. else too. I'm trying to think of which one. There was somebody else too, dog. It wasn't Eddie, right? Eddie, well, Eddie broke with him. Well, La Parca, 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 La Parca. That's right. Yeah. My my best memory with Eddie, not that you brought him up, was rest in peace. Um, was uh, with that show where where Conan brought me in in Tampa. And then I, after we're done, I, after he's done, I go to the side with a little thing where the bleachers are where you come out, and Eddie's standing right there. So I'm standing there, and I let Ray do his shit and yeah. whatever, and we're kicking it. And then the kids are, like, stoked, and they're throwing shit to me to sign, and him sign, and it, and he was a heel. So at first they were just throwing it, treating them normal, right? And he's yeah. just not even reacting, right? And the minute they started saying, fuck you, motherfucker, ah, for a piece of shit, right? All this shit. And they, they threw a fucking uh, a book, and they hit him in the head like a a signing book, right? And he, and he hit him in the head and he just looks at me and he goes, right? And he starts laughing and I'm like, what the fuck? He's laughing. <laughs> right? And he goes, and I, we start walking out, right? We go back in, so we go through the curtain, like back, back in, like, oh, this dude's are getting too crazy with this. Yeah. Guy, right? So we're going to turn around walk back in. He goes, same thing. He grabs me and he goes, mijo. Right? He goes, mijo. 
do my job. That's all he said. And I was just like, yeah. doing my job. Like, I'm in my mind, but in my mind, I'm thinking, this motherfucker, like, even off work, he's proud. Like, like yeah. it, 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 in other words. He was in character. It, no, no. One thing, cuando está en la vida normal, yeah. ese vato es bien calladito, güey. Bien, mm-hmm. bien como, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. But when he's up there, it's a monster. It's a machine, <laughs> right? So, yeah, that's one of my favorite memories of him because just the icon, it was a moment where, when it's only happening to, to you two, but YouTube, there's a whole yeah. thing, but it only feels like you two are there and you just feel it. Like, I know what he's talking. Like, damn, this fool's What a trip. Talk, what a trip, yeah. Do and you have any uh, memorabilia? Like, do you own any memorabilia? Like a Conan 90s mask or uh, Ray I, mask? I, I own Ray mask, the one that um, he get that when he was in the ring and, and, and Eddie was going, uh, um, soy tu papa. And then when they were in San Diego. Soy tu remember, papi. Soy tu papi. Remember when Dominic was here and they were here in San Diego and they were, yeah, I got that mask. Shut up. Yeah, I got bro. that mask. Yeah, the, got the one where they were fighting over Dominic. Yeah, when, when when he went in there, when when they did the skit, when he had him in the thing, and he ran in in regular clothes, and he had that uh, half gold and half half white. Shit. Yeah, I got I got that one and shit. He gave wow. it. To, I don't know. If he just I never asked him for shit. And then one day I was fucking faded in the car with him. He was dropping me off to my car after a venue, and I say, hey, man, size scary. And someone had asked me to do something for them, and he goes, Yeah, man. I go, I don't want to step on. Tour. I'm not in your world to try to get work, homie. I'm your bro, you know, I'm not there for that. You know? Yeah. He goes, no, let I me mean, do what you do, you know, and I'm like, but I, that, you know, he's like, dude, just whatever. And I was fading. And I go, Sasuke, wait, you know, you only think of pinching Oscar, wait, get on the way. And he started laughing. And I go, I never ask because I don't look at you like that. You're my bro. I just see you as, yeah. you know, and he goes, but I want, I need one, homie. I, I just need one to just, whatever, for my, and he, he just reached back and grabbed one. He had two in his ground and just paused and he just handed it to me. He goes, here you go, homie. And he signed it. He goes, here you go, dog. And then I got some other shit like where he threw out, Matches like the shirts he wears. He, I'm in the front row. I'm, I yell at him like, "Paisa, paisa, way, get on the way." <laughs> He'll be like, whoosh, "You know, and throw shit and stuff like that." That's or tight. my own memorabilia, like you know, like the brim hat that I wore in WrestleMania, the, the flag that you see on my shoulder. Yeah, it's the same flag that I wore in every video in my career. Wow, like in the Psycho video, in 1997, the one I'm wearing in my head. Yeah, it's the same one that you see in 2006 on my shoulder. Damn, that's how I feel about my COVID mask, dog. So, <laughs> that COVID mask I've had, I've, I've been holding. I'm gonna frame that that one day. Hey, you said WrestleMania, dog. So how how was that experience, dude? Uh, Chicago. WrestleMania. That was <laughs> WrestleMania. Dog, nah, 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 you good? Nah, 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 you went to WrestleMania good. thirty, okay. right? Was yeah. that WrestleMania thirty? And was that you and POD? Right? Yeah, that's yeah, that's what happened. Okay. Um, I dropped. Uh, that was your first WrestleMania. Yeah, well, yeah with, 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 okay. Ray, with Ray. I um, ran into Ray. Did the, the theme song for him, and once I did the theme song for him. Um, he first it was Freddie Fox. Freddie Fox shot me a, a, a reggaeton beat. So I did the reggaeton beat. Um, Freddie shot Fox, it. Bumpy, Freddie knuckles, Fox. Yeah. Bumpy knuckles, Bumpy knuckles. So yeah. then once OG I did, hip-hop, once I did East that, Coast. once I did that, um, they ran it for like a week or two and it hit. And then they were like, "Wow, man, the branding, the name, just yeah. the saying, the theme, all of it." So like, all right. And then I was walking um, at Taboo Tuesdays or Wednesday. Taboo Tuesdays is like a thing where they pay per view thing. It was here in San Diego, so when we're in San Diego. I ran into him and uh, uh, Ruben, uh, Pod and Ruben. It was too, like uh, Sunny and someone else. I think it was Wolf and and, and Ruben. And so we were just bullshitting, talking shit, and, and, and you know they go. He tells me Sunny goes, "Hey, I like that shit, homie." Like, booyaka, booyaka. He said it to me, and I'm like, "Right on, homie." Blah blah blah. And I just said, "Fucking around. We should make a rock version, homie." Fuck that, you know, playing around. I was you know, feeling good, whatever. I'm happy, you know, at the moment. I had my chip, my child. I, I, that's what I get stoked that when my daughter sees me. Uh, as long as I'm cool to her, element, yeah. I don't care. You know, right. as long as I'm cool to her, I don't care. You know, so that made me, you know, I'm showing her, trying to explain. She don't care. She's now she's getting it because she's older. <laughs> but um, I said it wouldn't do it. And next thing you know, Ray calls me and he goes, "Hey man, you want down to do this?" And I'm like, "Yeah, bro, we we're talking about it, fucking around." He goes, "Yeah, but they heard and someone heard and like like it's, it's the people walking around right yeah. there, like the people in charge and." Now they think you guys are doing it, so they're, they're pursuing it. Now they're calling P.O.D. So um, Sonny calls me. We go lay it down over there in Rancho Bernardo, at whatever the studio that is. Studio West? Studio West. Fancy. And, uh, Fancy. We went, went over there. Yeah, they had a trip. Over there. <laughs> and, and, uh, yeah, Sonny likes to um, have, when he does vocals, he likes to have the candles and the shit chopped down. <laughs> it's ill. It's ill. I, like, I love that shit. It was a different zone because um, I got to lay the, the track with each individual. I didn't eat. I'm the type that I don't eat until I'm done. Like, I... Like I Reward myself with a bean burrito, and that's the truth. Anything I do, big, biggest thing I could do in my life, I would eat a bean burrito because it always takes me back and it grounds me and makes me feel like that wholesome, good, mm-hmm. just that you know, that like homely taste. What and a trip! So, so, <laughs> so, 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 
the man, yeah, but hey, bro, I do, I, I do that stuff too. I, I saw, Bean so, and cheese or, so, so or tamales? So, there, you know, we're doing this, <laughs> and we're doing it, and then Sonny's like, you know, you can eat whatever, man, just bring it nah, It's all good, huh? Yeah. Eat. Yeah. He's like, all right, this your problem. Yeah, don't worry about hey, it. Hey, the no. track came out banging, yeah, so, man. So, so Homeway did it, right? And I got to spin with a, tra- uh, 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 a tray, uh, do the, 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 the bass line. Bass. That's just kind of reggae, and I was mm-hmm. sitting there. So, I sat there with each one. I sat next to Wolf like this for while he did the thing. I, I wanted to embody myself into it. I wanted it to become not just what it was already. I wanted to embody what they were doing yeah. and put myself in that zone. That's why it's like a little different. The way I said, Boo-yah. it's like, oh, rock, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. oh, you know, kind of shit. So mm-hmm. because the energy was like that, it was big. And it just once on um, what's the, the guitars and they laid that shit down. Then, like, oh, then I said, oh, shit, there is no thing. None of that shit. This shit has to come like, oh, you know, like, because. It's it's short and the attention span and the the impact that it's supposed to make when the audience hits it has to keep the momentum and keep the energy as those other sounds so that I I, I I did that to make sure we changed it up because I had to change my thing and and change a couple bars to make it fit the way rock music is laid out is different than how we do hip hop yeah. right, right, right right and eights and shit yeah, they yeah, do ten sometimes and yeah. they, they they format it different so. So I, f- I wish I knew the producer's name because he's a platinum producer. He's very well known and shit. And I got—I didn't even know nothing like that until I got done working with him. And you know, it was a great experience, and I learned a lot. Um, I, 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 it was a, it was at a time where um, I was going through um some personal crazy things, like very very personal, and and it was life changing where I could either go this way and do something that would change my life and damn near kill somebody, well kill somebody, mm-hmm. and um, or because of my family, right. someone, hurt, someone hurt my family. I don't even want to talk. Right. But I had to go this way, and I asked God to give me something. Right, dope. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. He blessed you, bro. Yeah, he well, blessed you, dog. Because that was a super I, dope. I, I, didn't, I didn't know what to do, dog. So when I didn't know what to do, I asked. You know. Yeah. But when it came, it came in the form of a song. You know, that was I, beautiful, man. So Buyaka to me is um, that. It's sentimental. Save, save my life. Did, did you did you yeah, come up with that's the word booyaka? Praise God, G. I, I remember. I remember. Who, who uh, came up with that word booyaka? I remember. It's big. I remember. I remember hearing the Jamaican, um, uh, old dance hall, and the guy was booyaka. going booyaka, but he was saying it different. He was going booyaka, like like a offset. It was like, like a sizzler or like something. A, like a, yeah, it was like a. But it was the dudes that you know that the double step. Oh, the and dub, they, the dub, and yeah. They, 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 and he just was doing the, the shit on top, echoed. And this is, I'm, I'm, I, it must have stuck in my head when I was a kid. Dog, not only know. that, but you would. We, that was like part of like, oh, hey, but it was right there, booyaka. Yeah, like, 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 like it was like yeah, part yeah. of the lingo and, too, and, dog. And, and, like and when you hit your brother, you know, or somebody. Yeah, and I, I feel like I heard you say it on stage before too. It was just part of like what you did, and it was so dope because it's like it was authentically you. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I was gonna get at. Yeah, it was like really. You, it, was, dog. it was a thing that I would just say. Yeah, like we got that right there. Boy, like, guys, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, like right that was like your. Yeah, yeah exactly, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, so, hey, wave. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So when it did that, you know, and then the transition and did the sunny thing, we recorded it. The song came out dope. Sunny goes, hey man, boom, 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 and I go, yeah, you gotta go. You like it, bro? We it. He goes, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe you should do more like that, kind of like that realm. Like, oh yeah, got it, got you. But I was trying to process what I was going through. Went home, went to work, like nothing. Next day, As a matter of fact, I left work to go there and then went right back, <laughs> like, like, like it was normal, you know. Yeah. And I, I was surviving, uh, like everybody else, normal people, you know. And so when we get there, um, when he calls me, he calls me like a week later, and he's like, "They're gonna drop it, right?" And I said, "Yeah, cool with that, cool with that, yeah, yeah," because they were controlling the, the master. Yeah. Because we recorded it through them. So WWE owns the master. Does? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they don't own the master. They. I wish we <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> they own the master on that, but it was administrated through because Columbia uh, it was through uh, through POD, POD and shit. Yeah. So they had to go through the process and shit, and they, you know it's all that shit. So um, when we did that, they uh, dropped it, and, and then, then they, oh, they dropped they dropped it, called us, and then within a month, less than a month, Sonny calls me. You know, I'm over here cleaning up a dead person and shit. I used to work. At- <laughs> Wait, what? Transport, like, like, transport, like, yeah, transportation. Like, like you work in a rehab center slash oh. slash shit. You just dead people, so you have to clean them sometimes for family to come see them and shit. Yeah. Damn. And I remember yeah. clearly I was cleaning some cat, you know, you know, fucking. You think of a lot of shit, homie. Yeah. You know, you're also numb. You're doing your job. Yeah, yeah. I go outside and I pick up the phone and it's him. And I'm like, what's up, bro? You know, hey, homie, you down to do WrestleMania? I'm like, what? <laughs> he goes, what do you mean? I go, what do you mean? He goes, yeah, Ray. I got Ray said something to me, but I didn't. 
it's always something, you know, we know, but it's not, yeah. you know, you don't think it's set in yeah. stone. It's mm-hmm. what it is. Just move with the movement. Right. Okay. And I go, well, what's my job? It's my job. You know, what do I, what I need to be, what do I do? It's my job. I just think I better do my job. Nothing less, nothing more, whatever. Just do that part. Um, uh, so I go, all right, cool. We, we, he's, right, call me, set it up. Next thing you know, my, they say April, whatever, it's fourth, uh, Chicago, homie. They send your shit. Next thing you know. Was, our wardrobe was supposed to be different like our names all on our shit but we ran out of time and i never we never rehearsed one time you guys together. had like the dicky outfits yeah, no yeah we never rehearsed one time like what you see is when we saw each other when we recorded now we're on stage and just performing it <laughs> and sound check and sound check and the sound check That's was so broken dope. up because fools were doing this checking their shit and we didn't run it really run it it was just where was this at again chicago chicago so um it was in uh what was it? O- it was in O'Hare. O'Hare, the, the stadium out there. Yeah. And so... Um, it was at the stadium? Though? No, not the stadium. At the, at the arena. At the arena. 30. So, but, this but is WrestleMania crazy. 30. And they, they made a, the Sears building in, in Chicago. is like this big building that's known in, in yeah. Chicago downtown. Mm-hmm. The big brick giant one. Mm-hmm. Put it this way. They, they built one, right? You see it in the show. But it was way up there, bro. Like, way up there. Like, by the time you walk up there, it takes like two minutes to get up there. Up the scaffolds and shit. So when you're up there, uh, we, we do the show. We're gonna about to do the show. Do the run. Um... You know, I got. I have to sit back too. You know, I have to play my position. You know, it's the game. So no one knows Mad One. All they know is P O D, P O D, P O D, P O D. But you know, all good, all good. It's the yeah. game. But at the end, when I perform, I do my thing. I perform. The uh, uh, I was upset too because the the ba- the the guitar wasn't working. And 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 when people were doing certain things, I was like, they were very adamant about their sound people and this and this and very picky. And then at the end of the time, when they get down, they fuck up. You know what I mean? They fuck up my, sh- you, know, you know, especially when my shit. No, hurry up and wait, gigs. Yeah, 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 yeah. The gates, or they try to do them on the time, so it's timely, automatically going on its own, right? The echoes or whatever, or letting the motherfucker pass through, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it did it, bro. And so I'm just like, and I'm just looking, and I'm just looking at Sonny, and I'm like, fuck it, like ah, do my shit, and I'm like, and then Sonny catches it, and Sonny finally looks at him and goes, and they fucking, bam, you hear it coming, bam. <laughs> so we do this shit, you know. I go off. On whoever the fuck that it was Sonny's That's why they don't let us Mexicanos anywhere, bro. No, it was Sonny's homie. No, because what made me mad is that one, I was kneeled down and I said a quick prayer, bro. Mm-hmm. Right, and I was thanking just everything in yeah, the universe yeah. and my ancestors, everything. I was just yeah. in the moment that I knew, even in the, the cloudiness of just the hurt and pain that I was going through, right. that I had to do that. Right, right, right. right. Uh, so when I was doing that, homeboy said, "Hey, move!" and he kicked me, homie, like he pushed me, like you know, and I like. Bro, I damn near lost my motherfucking mind, bro. Like, like he while I was kneeled down, bro, mm-hmm. and I stood up, and then they handed me a mic. Like they saw, hey, mother, you know, and they handed me a mic, and I was like, "This is yours, homie." I go, "It's on, it's on," and it's like I was so hot, ready to right, and then I go and I go. So when I come out, <laughs> when I come out, I'm already, you know, like I'm already You're like, aggressive. I'm <laughs> aggressive, bro. Like, and I'm, and, but I'm angry because I felt so belittled, G. Like you understand? So the same thing happened. Same thing. When I say okay, you 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 you're belittling me, but when we're doing our craft and doing the, the, the damn thing, you you can't even handle your shit. Right now, now, now you fucked up the shit. No one knows, but so I now know. Even, now now is even another one. Now, 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 now you know why he's mad. Hey, dog. we're at WrestleMania 39 now, dog. You're still mad. No, 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 no. It's just no, no, no. I got you. I got you. I got you. It doesn't bother me. What I'm saying is, during all this time, I'm going through something personal deeper than any music or anything. Right, 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 right. And and this is what I'm. Like it's all part of the test. It's all part of my, my my journey. It's all part of why I am, why I don't do podcasts, why, because I don't want to. I started to because it's part of like therapeutic, and it yeah. feels like yeah, I want my kid to hear me, but I don't want my kid to hear me all the time aggressive. Mm-hmm. You know, I like like hear me now. We talk about okay, yeah. yeah. I want her to understand that there's a piece of of this that's. That is calm. That does come from a love yeah. place. Dog, but I don't but see you as aggressive. You're passionate. I don't, I don't passionate. either. Yeah, okay. That, passionate yeah, is the I word. Think, okay. yeah, aggressive is like you want to be somebody oh, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't do that. I don't do that. Bro, yeah. I, I'm the same I, I, I let people pass on things that I should whoop their yeah, ass yeah, on. Yeah, but I don't. Percent. I don't. Yeah. I just let it be. So um, we did WrestleMania. Did yeah, all. that experience was, before you pass it, like that experience was super dope, dog. Like to be able to be a part of that. And to also like deal with all those adversities that you're talking about and still be able to experience that, my guy, like dog, that's, Crazy. that's a super dope experience for you. I wish and I could also, do it again. Yeah. You, and you will. You will. Yeah, you will. The way it went down, what I mean is not the way it went down, like the, what you saw, what you heard or what you observed and what, what was documented. What I mean is I wish I'm wide open. Like I'm trying to be wide open now. 
Yeah. I wish the the openness was there yeah. in the moment that I can see it for what it was and feel it for what it is. Yeah, was, yeah. Not for what now later a little bit more clear. Yeah. Fuck, you know, but it is it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, it's bigger than me, bro. It's it's it changed my life or it everything that little boy and me that did this and my mom would fucking say, go me home and take our rent money and go buy me a little rope chain, hollow rope. Here, go be a musician. Go be a rapper. Dude, that's that, that, Wait, your that's mom what did I, that, dog? Yeah, my mom did that, bro. With Kundina money. You know, Kundina? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's said, the original that shit, pyramid uh, scheme. Yeah, yeah. Straight and, up. And my mom the would Kundina put is the pyramid shit, scheme. Bro, and I knew I shouldn't take that shit because how we were living. Yeah. And, and then she goes, no, you go be that. Yeah, and mom's is OG, man. So, my so, mom's was OG, mom's was so OG me, bro. Mom's still being up there, I had to do my job and it was like, yeah. God bless. Yeah, God bless. I love my mom. Shout out yeah. to my mom. Yeah. Um, it's 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 the the thing is, I owe it to all that. Yeah. 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 You know, I owe yeah. it to all that to be open now. I yeah. owe that to uh, to make more music. It's all all that yeah. to now to be a regular human, good, decent human being in regular life, regardless of what has happened to me. Yeah. And people need to they hear that. that. People need to hear your story, bro. I mean, you got yeah. history and 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 you've made an impact on on many different levels. A lot know? of people so. too. Yeah. And and, and 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 the reason I started to do these things is for that very reason is because it sees it, it don't want to go unseen on her, not because it's for me or that little thing in me to, to fulfill that in me. Um, because I don't even see it like that, bro. I just see myself like a regular, just for average uh, people, though. Yeah, for yeah, average yeah. I people, just see it dog. Like that, right? Straight um, up. So, um, it's the it's the thing where I want to just leave some good shit behind for um, anybody to see and say, "Hey, man, you could whatever it was, it was." But what it is now is what you make of it, yeah. and you know what I mean. And it's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be perfect, and it's not gonna be what, what you exactly aim for. But guess what? You know what I mean. You're living. You know what I mean, and 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 sometimes when we we make less of ourselves to give to more people, we get we lose ourselves, you yeah. know. And when we lose ourselves, it's kind of hard to find ourselves again. But I think that's on purpose sometimes because it's better. Because when you find yourself, you get to refine it. You get to push the shit that you know that doesn't work because you're kind of aware of it. So when I see we talk about WrestleMania, that I don't downplay it or water it down. Hell no, fuck no. I, I'm part of something that was way bigger than me. And if anything. Um, I could show that, hey, de, de aquí, acá, mira, se pudo. Y si en cualquier cosa, a lo mejor se puede. No sé cómo, pero se hizo. It's and possible. I'll, it's it's possible, possible, pero I can't tell you exactly how it happened or what I did, or, but God laid the path and the universe and the ancestors just made sure this is what it was. And and here I am now, and this is the path now as grown men to talk about, you know, our story, but at the same time implement to tell the other ones, hey, man, don't waste your fucking time on this shit we wasted our time with. Skip that. We're passing the code. We're passing codes. Yep. Right? We're passing codes. Um, in our era, no one passed codes. The Nobody. Games to be sold, not told. Now it's like, I'll tell you. You want me? I'll show you how to write my shit. I tell producers that are platinum A and R's, bro, that don't that have done shit with that has gone to shit because they wanna be the guy. Yeah. yeah. Presented, right? But I've done shit where I have to get them them codes. Like this is why. Boom, 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 boom. And now I give you game, homie. Yeah. And, and that was my secret. In my mind, and that's, at one but, time. But that's and love, I, though. And I'm giving it to you because I want you to understand where I'm coming from, and I want this project to go bigger than us. Yeah. And but making it less of me and more of that. I said, but you have to do the same. And, and it, some people, it's hard. It's, very, it's hard, it's man. Hard thing it's do. hard, G. And you know what, dude, man? Thank you for just being so transparent, dog, and yeah. just keeping it so a hundred. Yeah. You know what I mean? You've, you've been, you've been. We've giving been us talking about this give, episode give for us a some while. impact yeah and we could we could keep going man but it's just like man this is like this back. is a this is a good this is a good place to kind of put a pin in it and and circle back again yeah. again in the future but man Tomas, i got to tell you man thank you so much for just being so transparent and keeping it keeping it g and throughout giving us the whole and time giving, and, and giving us the real history yeah man, oh yeah yeah bro man, man real history but man I'm, real history i'm great i'm grateful just to be um Granted the opportunity to come or even knock it off. Though. No, no, I'm serious, I'm serious, bro. No, la verdad, way porque um, I have I struggled to even come here because I I, I didn't want to be phony because if in my real life I'm not being a stand up person or living up to my full potential, how am I gonna come in front of a mic and cameras and stuff and put this whole spiel down? I said, like I'm this and that, I heard that, and I can't go back to life and just say and look at this later and say that's not what it is, you know? Yeah. Um, my imperfections and everything, all that, it is what it is, you know. Um, and I'm grateful. And yeah. I, I'm grateful for, for just a, just a, just a friendship also in, in just a, a fun fact is when I did the Bow Wow Wow video, I was broke. I didn't have shit. I had nothing. I was living, I'm lucky I met my wife, <laughs> you no, know, for real, to help me with my kids, to help me shelter them, to help all that. Amen. Kind of thing. So this guy right here, 
and ES and, and Johnny Work. In that video you see, I'm wearing their clothes. I had no clothes. I was wearing their clothes. I was wearing his, um, ES's jersey, this fool, um, Johnny Work's shoes, and this fool's pants. So, you know what I mean? So, when, when I, how, much, how the fuck am I going to sit here and act like this and act like I'm bigger than nothing when I've, I've, I've been through the ring? I understand how it is to be in front of a camera and then go back to regular life and, be, and just be a regular person because that's all I fucking really am, a regular person. Yeah. So, I'm grateful that for the opportunity, not just now in time, that fast forward from the past from when we first started a relationship, but to now that, that you're doing good, you're, you're searching for your, your better self, your family's going to uh, benefit from that. The homie right here, we're going to make sure that, he, you know. <laughs> so no, he gets no, his citizenship. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> even if, if not saying not make, make sure. No, it's yeah. not that. It's, it's like being vocal about it, you know. Yeah, it, yeah. It's, 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 can't, you can't let somebody, fellow man, stand there by himself and think he's going to deal with this shit by himself. Yeah. You know, because yeah. it, there has to be some kind of, a, hey, um, how can I say, what's the fucking word? It has to be some kind of. I can't even find it. Well, anyway, <laughs> on, that, on that note, I'm just gonna leave it at that, and I'm and I'm grateful for the opportunity. And yeah, decided. absolutely, G. And what positive quote you got or message for yeah, your loved one ones posit- before we oh, to close this off? Yeah. Okay. Um, I say you don't. I don't even have quotes, but I know one thing that I did that I have done. I wasted a lot of my life on yesterday mm. and forgot to live in today. That's cool. Oh, damn. And that and damn. I've done that a lot. Where do they follow you at, Mad One? Um, M A D O N E six one nine, Instagram, and uh, you know we can't just leave here like this. We gotta leave like. Let me take you on a journey through my town. Show you how the brown and black get down. Big shit talking, we be backing up. Straight out cons be acting up. Grind for my man, that's what's fuck. That's what's up. Fuck standing on the corner, one an empty cup. I'ma sing, I'ma rap, I'ma sing it up. I'ma sing, I'ma rap, I'ma tear it up. Cause times are rough. Oh, so tough. Can't get enough. So we call that bluff. Can't. <laughs> this cup. Mad one in the cup. About to rip this cup. See, they do anything to get the shit off. Hard on the inside. Inside soft. Don't get exposed like hoes with no clothes in a broke down momo with no dough. A decade and a half in the making. Mad one's been down and popping and breaking. And no need for no faking. You know the drill. Feel filled with mass appeal. Motherfuckers don't know how to act. They think this shit is funny like Bernie Mac. Booyaka, booyaka. Right at that tat. Now motherfucker laugh at that. <laughs> Slow your roll. Pump your brakes, ghetto struggle in the Bolden state. This ain't a game, we'll crack your frame. 5150 spitting flame. 619 on mine, all the time we're on the grind, baby. Dreams get broke, it ain't no joke. Pistol smoking, that's all she wrote. So then your North and your quips and bloods. Let me eat smoke. Show us love, respect life up in the streets. Cause you know how it be all up in the streets. Personal protection under the seat. All year round they feel the heat. Winter, summer, spring and fall. The man sits back and watches us fall. Different shades of skin, here we go again. Same world is sin. Dios apereta pero no orca. Por eso pensamos que la vida es loca. Cuando quedo muerto y seco. Te besito cada día de los muertos. Everybody dies but not today. Who am I to say we won't die today? <laughs> Dang. Let's go. Dang. Hey. All right. Man. Hey, my guy. That's a dope extendo. That, that's right a, there. a super dope extendo, Woo. man. We got to We probably got to bring him back. We got, bro. We just barely got on we his didn't, we, we, we didn't, didn't even get, get into any of this stuff. Else. That's hey, crazy. Yeah. That's what the extendos are all about, hey, man. man. Check out the rest of the episodes on the average people. If you, uh, you know, uh, make sure you follow, subscribe, like, comment. You all know, that. All that. Love, all that. Man. Yeah. You can follow me. My Instagram is at Cali Burrito. My name is Beto Perez. Hey, my name is Derek Santiago. You already know. At Derek goes on Instagram. Don't yep. forget, not a doormat. Six one nine in the building. That is our executive and, and, producer. And shout out to Two Streams. Thank you to our partners, Two Streams, for allowing us, uh, you know, to to, to be in to make it space, happen, man. to make it happen, to make it happen. Yeah. Thank hey, you. Beto, man, Crazy. another extendo. Crazy, bro. Bra- I got so many questions. I'm not even done. I know, dude. Let's just. Hey, we could. We don't even have. To, even if we can <laughs> do it in in this, in, in this facility or anything else. Hey, we could do that at the pad. We could do it at the side. We're going to have to. We're going to have to. We're going to have to. Table, table, with some bean burritos. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Bean burritos. But yep. That's what it is. Yep. The big tortillas. Big oh, tortillas. Big tortillas. <laughs> big tortillas. <laughs> All right. Hey, my man. guy. There Thank it you. is. Thank you. There you go, man. Hey. Extendo average people. See you guys next time. Peace.